Because one of the greatest players that has has ever played for Jamaica, my friend, my chess accomplished Arthur, the great one himself, Mr. KC, candidate master, doing well. Welcome. How are you, sir? Thank you, um, Drew. I am Drew Citizen. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. Well, uh, with you this evening. The pleasure is all mine, Duane. Duane, I live your life with your brethren, but when I did some research over the past week, I am amazed at how much you have done so far in your life. And literally, I am humbled and proud. I am proud to call you my friend. I, I am Thank so you, proud. Thank you, so, Duane. It's new, Jeff. Yeah, yeah. When I looked, Duane, I went and I went academic, I went chess player. I went Arthur and I looked and I saw all of these things and now my one question is you could do so many things in this life why chess? why chess? Uh, that, that's a good question um, I think I, I didn't really choose chess I think um, as they, they, they normally say chess, chess chose me um, often of course a lot of us are um, bitten by the bug and of course, when you, once you're bitten by the bug, um, you can't change, basically. So I got bitten by the chess bug in about 92, 1992. And of course, um, chess has been a part of my life ever since. 92, so, wow. Yeah, got, it was decided by God, I yeah. suppose. <laughs> yeah, and when you said 92, doing, I, I remember 92 well because you actually were one of the people. You, you probably don't even know the story, doing. So... At 92, I am at the peak, or what I thought was my peak at that time, because I was national champion and everything, and a young player. And I yeah, wasn't, man, <laughs> yeah, I wasn't going to play national junior champs because I'm like, nah. Mm -hmm. At one four, I was like, nah, I'm not playing national juniors. And everybody looked on me. People were calling me, saying, "What? You're running from the young boy?" And I didn't know who the young boy was. So I'm like, what do you mean I'm running from the young boy? They said the young boy coming for you this year. Are you running from the young boy? <laughs> and you were why I actually played my last juniors because I was amazed at how much hype, how much confidence people had in this young boy to dethrone me. And I, I think you're like 14 and I was 19. Yeah. I think you're 14 and I'm 19 and I'm like... A 14 year old, what, what people are talking about? I am national champion, I think two time national champion that and these guys are asking me if I run in from the little boy. And you were why I played my last juniors because you at that age you made such an impression that people thought you would be from you were 14 the next great thing Jamaica would produce and quite frankly you, they spoke it into being. They said you'd have been national champion. They weren't talking about junior champion at that time. They're talking about the win row who would become national champion. And this is when you're 14. And wow, the win. Yeah. You must have made your, your followers and your backers proud. You must have because you have had such a wonderful chess career. Nice. Definitely wonderful. So here to, here's how we do it, Duane. Every Monday we either yeah. drink coffee or tea and we play Blitz. I have coffee. What do you have today, Duane? Tea. I have a tea. tea. <laughs> so, so we should have named yeah. it this week playing Blitz and tea with Duane Rowe. <laughs> we'll break in the coffee thing. Don't worry. When you go back on this Olympia team... You know, you know how this yeah. coffee because unlike me and Anna Warren, you ain't retired. So you need to go make yeah, the, yeah. The, this one coming, the next one. You need to go make it and play your board one, you the right full space. Alright, yeah. so okay, afternoon to everybody. I see a couple family named John, J Lai. J Lai is there. Darren, how are you guys? I see Joshua followed. Joshua, much respect for the following, the follow. So also, guys, you know we start off with Blitz. So, Dwayne, I need to put your username in the thing. So it's Jam underscore Jam underscore Tal. Tal. So that's 
username. So jam underscore tall. That's the username tonight, guys. When we're going to challenge and we're going to actually play play the win. So J Loy. We're going to start off with you, you know. You kinda earned the right. And I saw the nomination, J Loy, for for game of the week. We'll talk about it later. But you are the first up to challenge to challenge the win before we start going into his games. So you should see it doing you should see a challenge coming in from J Loy. Okay, I accept. Yeah man, just accept. Yeah. And here we go guys with the first of the blitz. Boy, the win we're just talking about this London here, and here it comes. London. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell this little boy for simple doing a 13 year old little you two can play. Rosa, this little you not making no mistake yet, you know, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. You have to, you have to out strength when you can. Darren, Darren, they'll vote on your nomination later, um, later on. Chess Ninja, big up, my youth, big up. Always a pleasure to have you here. So, I'm giving you something to think about, Rosa. Yeah. Tell you, them little, them young boy, you know, man, this is why we do it. And I'm now he's up. Yeah, so Chess Ninja, yeah, Rosa was the same era as Adrian, Mark Smith and Mario. What an era that was and well, they'll be here, I think each of them, I'm not sure about Mark, but Mario and Adrian will be tuning in during the course of the okay, broadcast. Yeah. Cesar, bless up. Little you still trying, Rosa? And now uh, give up. So for everybody who's just joining us, we have the pleasure of interviewing candidate master, author, academic world traveler, the great Dwayne Rowe. So I didn't even say Casey old boy because when Richard come in, I'm going to remind us that Dwayne is so much more than a Casey old boy. But we have the man tonight, people. See somebody shouting out KC, so the KC people in the crowd. <laughs> pawn reach far, do you know, JLI? That pawn reach far. And Rosa, this is what I talk about, you know, your clock management. When Warren and Shane were brushing off Russ, we normally down to 50 seconds. We're still managing that clock extremely well.
<laughs> Boy, Twitch delay, you want to start a heated debate when you're going, KC is the best school in Jamaica. You want to start a heated debate. I will let it go because my guest is one of KC's finest. So I will let it go. But I see some Ulmas youngsters start jumping up telling you them strongly disagree. <laughs> Darren, do pull me into this with Campion, please. I'm trying. I'm trying to be neutral here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, one down. Alright, Nathan Rabbit, you're up after you it will be right. So I owe you this game for a little while. Another youngster. This one, the way it is one that shows so much promise from Jonathan Grant. So Jonathan Grant okay, has well. started a program. Lee Chess. Lee Chess yeah. Nathan. So Jonathan Grant started a program the way it, and I'm so proud of the progress that they that they have gone through j -Li, not not a bad game but you have to watch your tactics j -Li. you have to watch your tactics you can't play a tactician and and miss the tactics like that definitely can't miss it so Dwayne one of the things I noticed before we go into your game so we're waiting on Nathan we are waiting on Nathan to come and challenge you but I noticed yes. that in the games that you, you looked on as your best games, you went not for the GM games, not for the games that I consider historic games, but for IM games which showed your, your even, let me not even say raw strength, but why those games? The first game we look on, why did you choose that one? Okay, so the first game um, is actually I I chose that game for a number of reasons. Um, for one, uh, that game was played at the Olympiad in, in 2006. In ah, that a was very big match. That was a huge Olympiad for you. Finland. Yeah, that was a huge very Olympiad. Big match. Actually, we, 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 we drew with Finland. Yeah. And Finland is a very big Czech team. But of course, we, we, we should have won because there is a player on, on the Finnish team. Yeah. Because we call Tommy Takeback. <laughs> yeah, Tommy I remember Tommy that. Tommy Which we call Tommy Takeback. Again, Shane. Um, there was a dispute that he, of course, um, he took back a move against his games against, of course, our I am um, Shane Matthews, uh, the magician. Yeah. But I tell me, Naima, did he take back that move? Um, we would have beaten Finland. Of course, we would have won we the match. And that would have really been a, a, a result. Yeah, for Jamaica. what I remember, you were firing at that Olympia doing. Left, right, and center, you were firing. Okay. That was an yes, Olympia yes, yes, that yes. for spectators we looked and we were just like, yeah, doing on fire. Ha, have you gotten that yes, challenge yes. as yet from Nathan? Yes. Alright, so. Another reason why I choose that game as is that um, the, the person I played, which I am, um, Tapani Samalboa, is uh, a 2450 player. He actually wrote a book. I, mean, I, I, I own the book, the way. So, the, the English attack of the leader. Uh, I, I own the book. Uh, so I remember that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it was quite a result, I think. Yeah, it was. So, yeah, I've got the challenge. All right, so let's go to the challenge. Um, 2006, John. We, after these two games, we'll go to it. All right, so let's see. You can tell me what you think of this young talent. Do it. Don't ease down. Don't ease on him. Go hard. Yeah. Go hard.
And him take down two 2200s on Sunday in a Spanish league tour, a league match. Wow. So, That's fantastic result. Yeah, yeah, this young boy getting there slowly but surely. But now I'm have to show it on center stage against the great Rosa Lima. So let's see if he <laughs> pass your test, Rosa. Yeah, it's supposed to be 3 2 J Lai, but I'm not sure what it is. But chess is chess. We're going to play no matter what time limit comes. Those are not even space the young man will give you. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying I keep him more at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell about them young boys that are doing it. Yep. Alright, so you go for the critical move. Let's see, let's see. Let's see the way in. No, I'm have a decision. Does he take your knight? Does he play knight c5? I'm going have decisions the way, you know. Alright, so he goes all in. Yeah, John, it's a pawn, but there are open lines there, John. Raggy not in the house, so you can go. Is that a pawn? Oh, I expected queen takes or knight takes. What's his idea? Doing that's a break. You to be under pressure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah feeling, feeling some pressure here. Yeah man, well that's what we want, Rosa. Them young boys need to come. Warren bless up. Always happy to have you in the house. Warren says bless up. Um Rosa. Yeah, man, pick up, pick up, pick up Warren, pick up FM. Mm. And this is basically one year into the program, you know. The way in well, for this yeah, Jonathan yeah, Grand Young sir. You guys have been very strong. Yeah. You give him something to think about now, Rosa. <laughs> what will his solution be? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if, if I took that, that, that uh, ball and. Uh, me too, I would be uh, and that little problems, yeah, man. Joshy, yes, so Joshy Spanish sounds who have some comp some more competition. So it won't just be you and Catherine, this young Jonathan Grant youngsters coming through slowly but surely. Yeah. 
And guys, remember, if you have questions for the win, put it in caps. That way, that way I'll be able to easily identify it. And remember, Nash plays tonight to try to equalize for Jamaica Rooks. So good luck, Nash. It's 10-8. We need Jamaica Rooks to, to win that one. Josh is smiling now, Rosa. Josh is him getting into form. So out of the fab for him smiling and say you are the most in form. <laughs> Those matches with Joshi going pay off tonight. <laughs> and true a challenge out like how you love challenge. None of the legends have gone undefeated. So let's see if you can do it. <laughs> Rose and praying, slowly praying. You have to work out this end game against the young youth. <laughs> Boy, I look like this game captivate everybody, Rosa. Audience gone quiet, I gone quiet, you gone quiet. And now make it easy for you, though. Yeah, very tough game. Yeah. Look like you might have worked out a little trick there, so though, Rosa. <laughs> yeah. And we have the 11 year old waiting, waiting in the wings and he, he, he sit down waiting asking is it his turn yet, is it his turn yet? <laughs> <laughs> And young stars, this is why you always have to do the end game. All attacks lead to end games. All games against competitive players lead to end game. They don't end in mate. Not unless Rose are playing because I'm going to show us a couple of those tonight. But for the rest of us, it reach end game. square so you're going to give a lesson tonight too 
and pawn get fixed on the same color as your bishop. Oh, and now Zug Zug. Yeah, there are F7 on him Zug. That king going to have to move. Okay, seeing that question, so we'll, we'll tackle that question in a little chess ninja. Alright, I'm finally breathing. I sigh of relief now, Rosa. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I've got this game under control now. Yeah, but again, this guy's one year into chess. That's basically it. One year into chess, Rosa. That's, yeah, yeah. that's well, fascinating. Yeah, one year into chess. Why that look like you have four minutes on? Old, old men like yeah. us not supposed to have four minutes on yeah. it, Rosa. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's the game. Yeah. Yeah, that's the game. Alright, well done. So, Ruit. Okay, well done, the game. Yeah. So, Ruit, your turn. You should see You should see a challenge. Last challenge before we go into your games come through. Okay. I'm not seeing it yet. Yeah, I'm messaging, telling him to send challenge. If he doesn't send it in the next... 30 seconds or so. Okay. Yeah, I see. Alright. Okay. This 11 year old. Don't play this 11 year old. Yeah, Nathan. Well done. Well done. He's surprised at your playing strength right now, Nathan. So, well done. And I was telling Joshi and the other San Diego guys that that Jonathan Grant coming in the next year or two. Look like you almost Evans him while ago, youth. <laughs> <laughs> the crowd was, crowd was shouting for the Evans. We got Castle. <laughs> J-Light, look like you don't believe him. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, them young boys, them, them do have no fear in the youth. Man, say castle yeah. king side, him down queen side. 
Well, it better make out of something now because that's A4 and B4. <laughs> so, let's see this. Alright, one thing for sure the game go interesting. So guys, on the next round, we'll throw out some questions that you can get to play doing. Oh, I'm going to be greedy. Rosa disagree with you right now, Warren. No BB5 coming. He's going straight B5. And guys, we put up Shane's interview on YouTube. Warren Zone should be up tonight. So, apart from following on Twitch, go check out the YouTube because we timestamped it with everything that was discussed. So, it's easy to watch on YouTube. You just click what you want to see. You watch that part and you keep going through. There should be a tab on the page and you can just click it. Go to, go to the video and you'll see it. I remember to follow on Twitch and to subscribe on YouTube. Def definitely Warren, it's, it's coffee. It's coffee from a glass, Warren. I, I have the way in the house in the man. We have uh, elevating things. <laughs> Oh, oh, and the tactics start. Oh, the way in play nice. You can't be hitting them so hard, the way you're encouraging them. Play nice, the way. No worry, he's a tactician too. So if him getting chance, he will sing his. He will tell him just open up the G file for him, Rook. Yeah, I, I, I should have thought about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you don't play G H it, so maybe you have something else in store. <clears throat> I notice you need none time again to, you know. I forgot to get yeah. I make a call to Joshy, you know. When I'm ready to come back and play 3-2, I forgot to link Joshy. <laughs> Joshy. Yes, yeah, man, it looked like good yeah. training. Like, yeah, man, the saviour looked like him getting good time management form. So that yeah. looked look like the link. <laughs> yeah, the Rook G8 come. But, wow, yeah. I'm curious to see the tactics that when you come. Mm. Yeah. Be careful now. Yeah. Okay. Let's do this thing after. Yeah, youth. Some braver are born. Get caught, yeah, yeah, yeah. And get caught, and get caught. I was looking at Rook G2. I was going to just try sack and Knight F4. So Rook G2, Knight F4. Yeah, yeah, and get catch here. 
You're not giving up though. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What do you want? All right, so well done, well done, doing. So we're going to go yeah, into, okay. yeah, we're going to go into our first game now, doing, and yeah. that first game is against Sal Manzu, and as we're saying, I was a I was a need of player. So you know I had that, you know my library. So I had that English attack because of all the rave. And I remember this game and when you got the result, I was jumping, I was going Rosa and feeling all good. <laughs> I was very happy about this game. Be before you start, I have Mark Bowen, Chess Ninja, who wants to hear your yeah. thoughts on how Humphrey Gale, Mark Smith and Tobish impacted your development of chess and the style that you have now so that's a big question that's a big big question so let's go over it okay. again how uh, did humphrey so Gale, yeah Mark Smith and, and tobish impact the style okay. of chess and your chess development yes. um so i'll start with tobish because um as a lot of you guys uh, will know uh, um tobish was my coach um as a junior i think back in the days i think Topish may, may have been the only coach in Jamaica uh, to think about when, when we just started chess. So, of course, he played a lot of uh, uh, important role in, in developing my chess um, understanding from an earlier age. Uh, but then, of course, the opening, some of the openings, I think um, he used to well, um, kind of advise us to play what really fit my style. For example, the French. I, yeah. I used to play the French back then. Although I did well with it, I, I'm not sure if it fitted my style um, somewhat. But he, as I said, Toby, he, he did play an important role in kind of imparting his knowledge um, back then in terms of um, allowing me to understand chess as a junior better. Okay. Right. Now, Humphrey Gale played an important role. Um, as you guys will also know, Humphrey Gale, without Humphrey Gale, um, Jamaica chess would move forward because Humphrey Gale. <laughs> was always there on a weekend to play the ladder, ladder. basically. And of yeah. course, that, that is where most of us, all of us, all of us developed our, from that. Best, um, skills back, back then. Yeah. Um, so, was like a father course, doing. Yeah? It was like a father yeah, because yeah. we get drop off or reach you take for one o'clock yeah, and yeah, we yeah, leave yeah, out yeah, six so o'clock and it's yeah. just Humphrey. It's just Humphrey. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, my, the classmate now, of course, is, a, is a, was one of my um, schoolmates from Kingston College, and of course he used to play a lot of sparring matches and so forth. Um, and yeah, he, he also uh, impacted my style in the sense that um, we um, play a lot of kind of aggressive kind of chess, and um, of course, Mark's um, kind of um, advantage was of course he was the uh, fast on time. Clock. Um, clock yeah, clock. So call him clock with. Maybe we should arrange a match between Joshi and uh, Clark Smith. <laughs> I don't know who would be faster. Um, but yeah, certainly he played a role in terms of um, my chess understanding and, and my style, chess style. Yeah, okay. Alright. Yeah. So remember, guys, if you have any questions for doing, just put it in caps that I can see it, and we'll come back to that. So, Duin, walk us through this first game. Okay, so. As I said, this first game was played um, at the Olympia in 20, 2006. It's the match, um, Jamaica versus Finland. Um, and the match ended in a 2-2 two, two all draw. 2-2. Yeah. Two, two, with, um, as I said, I drew. Um, Warren drew with a, also a strong I am. Mm -hmm. I drew with us I am Samuel Boa. Mm -hmm. He's rated at about 24-50. Uh, Warren drew with also a strong I am over 24 and uh Porter, Russell Porter, he beat the uh, uh Finnish GM. Yeah, Western Western Ring. Yeah. 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 So this yeah. is one of the historic yeah. matches for Jamaica, you know. Matches, yes. This was a historic so, match. And, and back then I was brave. I, I wasn't scared to play the Sicilian uh, 
going main, main line Sicilian. So of course, Sicilian and plain black. So he goes for the open Sicilian. I'm going for the Nadar, and he plays Bishop E3. So he goes for the English attack. As I said, um, I am Tom Walbaugh was the first to actually write a book on the English attack of the Nadar. Yeah. So he must have been theoretically um, well prepared for this match. <laughs> yes. So I go for my Nadar, not afraid. I play Bishop E6. No, the line I, 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 I I play, I, 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 I um, played back then was I go for early H5. One second. And for H5, you can kind of slow down black, white attack. White want to go G4, H4, and of course, throw, throw in the kitchen sink. Just throw the kitchen sink. Me. Yeah, man. Yeah. Remember uh, them there. Throw everything on the king side and then me. Of course, um, H5 kind of slow down the attack. It cannot play H5 because, of course, I'll take, I'll get an open file and... Um, it's, it's, it's king side will be weak. And of course, if, 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 if white goes h3 to kind of force um, g4, then of course I'll play h5, and then of course it, it's not possible to play um, g4, g4 anymore. And now the, no, the dark squares. So, guys, look no, at those dark squares. Down. Yeah, and now you probably yeah. have knight h5 into g3, f4, g bishop yeah, e7, yeah. and yeah. black controls the dark squares completely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he goes for an early um, knight d5. I take with the bishop. Now there, there's a lot of ways white can play this um, kind of open. White can go uh, queen d2 and then cast the queen side, right? In the game, um, some of the went for c4, right? Normally when they, they go cast the queen side, I'll, I will try to develop the bishop um, on by, by a g7. Um, play g6 and bishop g7 and develop bishop by g7 uh, one of the kind of back then um, there was a player from UK which I used to follow I used to like him uh, it's called Luke McShane ah yeah and uh, he, played, he, he played a brilliant game um, as black against Vichy Anand with this line where he went g6 bishop g7 he played h4 and of course he, he got in rook h5 rook f, uh, f5 it was, it, it was a brilliant game so you can, you can check out that game if you want to see the line so in any case, of course, this is different because um, some of them opted for the positional approach. Um, so of course, I kind of restrained that C5 push. Bishop E2, I play H4. He goes Queen D2, of course. Uh, Alright, so hold on. Rosa, for the young players in the house, this H4 move, so... H4 was obvious when H3 because he has weakened that those dark squares. Now yes. H3 hasn't been played, so the dark squares haven't been weakened as yet. How H4? Yeah. Explain H4, the idea H4 to them. Uh, the idea H4, of course, um, for the next couple of moves, um, it's it also restrained, it's still restrained the push of the pawn because, of course, if he plays G4, I am I'm taking up or down and the, the rook is thin, right? Um, also, it, 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 it gives my knight a square as, as well, as you'll see um, in a couple of moves from now. Um, so I can play the knight to h5, to f4. So it, it gives my knight a square and of course it gets more space on the king side. Um, we're kind of in a waiting land to see what's going on. Um, Black is trying to see where, where white plans to go with the king. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, 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 a, it's a good way to move H5 as well as it, it creates um, space on the king side and it allows, um, for example, the knight to go to um, H5 as well. What about, so I think it was a it was okay yeah. move. What about that king? So the can go to the queen side and after H5, H4. So like with H5, I could see later on a king G8 if I could get G6, king G7. And the king, king okay. When I now start pushing h5, yeah. h4, is it that that king will sit in the center? And John are asking specifically for you. You are the Nadar player. You need to understand these structures and the different ways of playing it. So what about your king? Okay. So, okay. For now, the king is safe in the center, right? But, mm -hmm. of course, the king can also go to f8 and g8. And potentially, the king will be castled. That manual castling. Um, the rook 
of course, may play an important role on the H file for now. It's already um, developed on that, the H, H file. Yeah. I think the rope is, is stronger right now. Yeah, on it's H developed file. already on H file. All right, cool. Yeah. yeah. And the thing with the captain is, of course, you can now um, get start the king side attack. Um, whereas now my rook is okay, I can manually attack to take my king out to the center with king f8, king g8. As, 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 as was done in the game, actually. Alright, so let's um, see. Let's see. Yeah. So, my opponent today, knight a5, he, he attacks um, the b7 pawn. Of course, after defend, and he goes b4. So, of course, he's, he's interested in the queen side expansion, trying to get in c5 um, in the position. Now, the, the move I played here it was actually the, the move that the engine. Uh, when I went over the game with engine, is the move that engine is uh, is bought is crying for the engine it's now. Like but at that time there was Which there wasn't no great engine also, so the engine now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. have to find this on your own them time there. Oh yeah. <laughs> so he played rook b one. Of course, he's interested in the um, the c five push. And again, now I play like f four, right? And of course, that is the move that engine was was crying out for as well. Right, so I thought it was a good move because the engine don't want to be like at work. So now, that move actually offers a pawn, right? So, for example, bishop takes, pawn takes, queen takes. I would be a pawn down. So why did I make that move, mm -hmm. right? So if, if you look at the position, you, you realize that most of white pawns in the center and on the king sides are on, on white, um, white squares, right? So the d5, c4, f3, um, g2 pawns. So therefore, if he if he take, goes to the pawn, um, if he take the pawn, he will give up his, his strong bishop, um, dark square bishop. And I think there is enough compensation um, because, of course, I will have the, the dark square bishop. And, of course, my opponent has the, the weak dark square. So I think that was, um, that, that was my idea then. Um, of course, this is more intuition than seeing a, a direct win. Um, of our, to see a direct... Um, yeah, it's, it's the, good positional the compensation. Position. Definitely yeah, good so positional the compensation. compensation. Where I have the, the dark square bishop, his dark square are pretty much weak, right? Mm -hmm. For example, if if he, if he play bishop, bishop takes, uh, pawn takes, queen takes, I could go queen b6 for first move, for example. He cannot castle. Um, I'm attacking a pawn, his white square, his dark squares are weak, etc. After that, I could castle and, and then begin an attack on his king because his king would be stuck in the center somewhat. So okay. um and of, of course right now the knight is attacking um the G two G two pawn. So my opponent he don't want to give up the light square bishop and of course he wanted to defend the G two pawn so he played um bishop F one right so now again the move that the engine basically um well, uh, and this is why I'm satisfied with the game. I played a lot of moves uh, which actually these were the First choice of yeah, the man. But Rosa, so we, we know you are a calculator by nine, nine, eight, We know you are a calculator. Uh, so the engine is just <laughs> ensuring that <laughs> it validates your calculating ability. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So my opponent went for G, G1, right? And now he has a problem. He has a problem with his own he, king to now, Rosa. It can go queen side, it can go king side, so both kings sitting in the center. The king's stuck in the center. Yeah. So, of course, this is when I castle, right? Um, so I, I'm doing the manual castle now. So I went king f8, right? So of course my opponent went g3, take, take, knight, uh, g6, right? So, right now I think that my king is actually safer than his king um, because the, the center might be opening up soon. Mm -hmm. um, whereas my king is has, has started manual castle. And so can you pry? Can, can you pry? Could you pry at those king side pawns with ideas on knight h5 again to get the dark squares? Uh, yeah, but uh, since the pawn is protected for now, knight h5 is not really attacking anything much. Uh, I was thinking in the game more mm -hmm. e4 and say. Are you I going to break the center out and your rook e8? Understood, Rosa. Yeah, understood. Yeah. So yeah, he so goes c5. Yeah. So he goes c5 course, to quit. I have his ideas already as well. So he, he, he's basically, he has to um, do something, of course. His, 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 his ideas are already in the center. Right? Mm -hmm. So he has to do something of course. Um, queen side expansion with uh, c5. 
and he plays C5 right away, right? Mm-hmm. And of course, as, as I just mentioned, my idea is to open up the center um, and get at the king. So I play E4, right? Now, he plays knight C5, um, and I played queen B8. I came out, I came out of the uh, attack here, basically. Uh, actually, the computer prefer EF3. Um, and just don't care really about awkward. it. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't care. Mm-hmm. So, so, so I went queen B8, pawn T, and of course, I retreat to the bishop because I say I, I, I'm keeping that bishop. Um, but even though I couldn't take, for example, um, if I couldn't take bishop takes, so bishop rook, takes, knight takes, yeah. takes, and the and rook takes, queen takes, and then queen takes is bishop c5 and win my queen. Yeah. Um, so bishop d8 is the strong, strongest move. Um, it keeps the bishop. Um, I still have threats on the king side and I'm open up the center. For example, if pawn takes, knight, knight takes, and I, I think I'm standing well. Basically. So anyway, he, he sacks back a pawn. To, to kind of divert the, the knight and now he takes, right? So now, um, as I say, I think this king is, 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 is not really safe. So, I r- basically um, chased the knight from the square because I wanted the uh, e5 square. Um, the knight moves to a5. Alright, so guys, the one sec. One sec, so, so, so knights. To win the queen. Yeah, Nash has won the first game. So it's now 10 9. One more win for Jamaica Rooks to draw that match. Alright, sorry for cutting your rules though. Okay, great, great. Okay. Yeah, so I'm attacking um, 9 F3 check to pick up the queen. So, of course, my opponent um, covers the F3 square. And then I play the important rook on the 7. Um, so I've, I've renewed the, the trick of 9 F3 because the bishop is now pink. Um, and of course, I'm threatening to win the queen. So, um, in this position, as I say, um, I'm slightly better. I, I, I think, um, computer saying I'm slightly better. Um, my rook is active. His rook is still very weak and de- playing a defensive role. My king is safe. Yeah. Um, his king is still in the center where pieces are kind of um, over in. So, um, here I I think I'm better. So let's see how it continues. So my opponent, of course, he takes on uh, C8, retake, check, and of course I move my king over. Yeah, and it's really, it's really safe on G8. Yeah. Really, really safe yeah. there. Yeah, it's safe, yeah. So my opponent played Queen E3, and um, this is where I should have won the game, actually. Uh, this is where the game slipped. All right, hold on, Rosa. So don't the, the, the tell them yet. Don't, don't tell them yet. Give them 30 seconds, guys. Quickly calculate what Rosa should have done. You're in training. You know, you know what me all is in training. So Rosa yes, says yes. he missed what, a win here. here. What, should he have, what should he have done there? Let's see the moves coming in. Rosa, it stumped them. I don't see no moves coming in yet. <laughs> So I give them 15 more seconds to see if them come up with no move. No move? I dare hush, must sit down and calculate too. <laughs> No, that don't, that don't hit you up with no move yet. But I know the move I play. So my whole off. And the arrow giving it away now. Wait, with Bishop takes. Yeah, Bishop takes. Yeah, man. The engine is saying this, Kali, um, seven point, ne- negative 7.6. That'd be 7.6 up. Oh. So, why, why so Jayla is saying Bishop takes and Pawn takes. 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 And then what, G Lai? Uh, J Lai or oh, rookie two? No, you don't have a rookie two. I think you can knight c4 there, J Lai. Knight c4. Knight c4 is the move. Yeah, I so think you can knight the c4 there. I didn't, the yeah. reason why I didn't take the knight, as I say, I, I'm still thinking that the bishop is strong in this position because the dark squares are still pretty weak, right? But with the take, um, the idea is that with knight c4, the, the, the knight is now covering the dark square, d2 and, and e3. And of course, it's impossible for him to play, play bishop d4 because now it's extremely dangerous because now my rook is covering the entire 
seven drunk. So you're saying and, um, he was making tricks. So for take. example, yeah, nine three four. For example, he found Bishop takes. So Bishop takes. Pawn takes. Yeah. So now, no, for example, uh, I can knight e five, five knight d three. Yeah. I I can play queen b seven. Um, queen a um. You want me? Yeah, because um, now doing when you got BD4, you hit him with the queen B8, and now queen, yeah, queen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, doing yeah, yeah. this is pretty. This is pretty, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, 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 um, it's basically, it's, it's, yeah, the game done yeah. now. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. he now has so the, the E5, no, the yeah, the game done. Oh wow, yeah. the win! All right, so let's go back to here. What did you actually play? Um, actually, I played um knight. You continued the attack. Yeah, yeah. And again, I, I, I thought that it's not possible for him to take because it's the um, it's, um, it's allowing my rooks um having the entire second round. Mm -hmm. Um, basically, bishop takes, queen takes, and of course, I'm attacking rook a two. I was in the second second round, and of course, the knight is going to come. E5 and F3, yeah. because I control F3 square. So, um, yeah. So, anyway, of course, he, he, he actually realized, um, I think that's why he played um, Queen to A3. Because yeah, that's not an that, easy um, move to find. Yeah. Um, but, of course, the computer is still saying I'm um, minus uh, 3.8 mm -hmm. up. I'm still better. Um, so, uh, with this move, I'm still up, but of course, I'm only one point something up, and I cannot <laughs> lose the advantage somewhat. Because computer, um, what's 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 saying a better alternative? Yeah, so, you, yeah, I can tell you yeah. playing with these young youths that are doing when you start talking in terms of numbers, you know, you're looking at them, dog, <laughs> them playing them young youth here. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah, that's, uh, that, that, that's the currency these days, right? That's the currency. <laughs> Because I still don't, I still don't speak the currency yet. So each time you're saying it, and you say one point, and I start looking. How am I a pawn up in this? And I'm looking for the weakness. I'm translating it into into yeah. words into my head. But I realize you're speaking the currency. I, 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 I think it's just the fact that my rook is um active and the king right? safety still playing a defensive role. Yeah. Um. So and the king safety to I do it. You know, I up. think. Yeah. Your king under no attack, he's ticking no, if I'm him sleep. Safe, so yeah. Yeah, so I still have um I still have much freedom in the portion and there's still more chance for him to go wrong. Ah, uh, yeah man. Yeah. So he played knight e six. Um of course I play queen e eight trying to get the queen um back into action. Yeah, and the the um, e four square, that e four pawn. Yeah. So of course he brings back his king queen back into action as well. So I play knight uh, e5, so challenging the queen. The queen goes to f5, where it attack my bishop on g5. I retreat the bishop. Mm -hmm. So here, of course, he takes, takes, then he play uh, d6. Uh, so he has a fast one, uh, as you can realize. So right now it's not. It's not really threatening because of course um, I'm controlling the DC he said square. Um so it's, it's, it's not very threatening. So I play Queen C six. Of course um essentially it, it, it basically if he had had an idea for example to play Bishop D four it takes it away because um, I'm I'm looking at Queen C one checkmate. Um so I'm, I'm and I'm looking at also the threat of playing the A five lever. Right, because the, the queen is now attacking the bishop, so if I play a5, uh, essentially he cannot take. And then I, I'm looking to still make some action to get my queen in, into the position, right? So if I play a5 and pawn takes, basically, and if he takes, then the queen um, is open. So here he plays king, king f1. I guess my opponent realized that the rook on the 7th is too powerful. He needs to um, contest the rook. On the seventh, basically, he needs to exchange rook. But my rook is very active, while his rook is very passive. So he plays king f1 with the idea of playing this rook g2. So of course, my idea was to go a5. So I went a5. Um, of course, he exchanged rook. 
and Conti they are attacking the um, bishop. Bishop T. You know, we get activity. C2. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so I brought my king queen in the position. I get an activity this guy. Now he plays um, king f1. Um, so I can take the a2 pawn, right? But of course, he still has a focal pass pawn. For example, if I play a2, he can play basically um, uh, c, um, d7, where he is attacking queen takes f6 and then queen. Right? So, uh, so it's, still, it's still very dangerous somewhat. So here, of course, I want to continue my threat, so I play knight f4. And by the way, by the way, I cannot, I don't win a piece by queen b1 because he could play bishop e8. So I'm not, I'm not winning the piece on uh, b4. Okay, bishop by e1. Yeah, because yeah, he could play bishop e1. Yeah. So of course, I bring in, bring in more artillery, artillery in the position. I'm still, still trying to go for uh, the throw, the Dracula, but. Yeah, yeah, with that pawn on d6, you're just brave, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but here you realize that white already has property. If he requires, he could play queen... Uh, C8, h3. h3. Queen h3, yeah. right? So white have a draw in the back, actually. Right? He could play queen c8, queen h3. But let, let me tell you one advice when you're playing... Um, weak, well, when you're playing stronger opponent. Strong opponents don't really want to draw with you, right? If you're a weaker player, right? So they will see a draw line and they will not take it. Um, if it's, unless it's completely necessary. Unless it's forced. And um, yeah. Uh, and in that case, you can play moves. Uh, where your opponent have a draw. The strong opponent have a draw. You won't really go for the draw. Um, so you, you're not scared for the draw, even though you don't want to draw. Um, you're hoping that he remains in the game until. Um, he has to pull the um, pull the emergency yeah. um, break. But yeah, he, he had emergency breaks here. He could play um, queen c8, queen, queen h3, queen h3, and it's a draw. Um, so of course, the knight here, knight c4, is extremely dangerous. There is no choice. The opponent he plays queen c c8, king h2, and he takes the knight. Right? Of course, for me, if I take with queen, I, I, I'll probably be losing. I'll be losing because he has two pass pawns. Um, already, so I have to take with pawn. Whereas my queen is still dangerous, um, and of course his king is still in a weak position. So here he plays queen f5, check king back, and he plays he retreats the, the the bishop, right? So here check. Ah, sorry. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. So here I play check. Um. Because I have a pass pawn now, right? Mm -hmm. And I push my pass pawn. So, here I say, um, my opponent still has a draw, right? Um, he still has the emergency switch, um, emergency break could draw, but right now he, he didn't pull that switch yet. Apparently, he's trying to see what I'm, what what, I'm doing. What you made of. So here, he plays, yeah. <laughs> you want to see what you made of, Rosa? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Exchange queen, check. And here I, I, I saw that basically there's not much in the position but, but draw really. It's a dead draw, and is mm -hmm. really giving a uh, dead draw. So here I said that I'll I, I pick up the um, A2 pawn and the uh, D6 pawn. So, so, so Jay, like asking if you could have taken on D6 before. So go back right here. He's asking if you could yeah. take on. Yeah, so C. C3, I guess. Was it here, here, Jayla, you're asking? Where? So, yeah, continue, check. Oh. Well, it has to be after C3 because if you take, he'll just take back your pawn. And you won't have no yeah. advantage. So, let's see C3. Yeah. Yeah, it's always pawn for pawn, Jayla. Alright, go on, go on. Yeah, yeah. It's better to take, um, if I take immediately, um, you, you, you will take an, an C3. C3, yeah, and it's pawn for pawn. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. So, J. Lai, did you hear what so the master here. said? Hold on a sec. It's important what the master said. Yes, you could win it. But after the exchanges, you would be left with an outside pass pawn. 
and that would be problematic for you. Yeah. To take to take Nathan, you'd have had to play Queen D6, so the Queen and the Bishop are attacking C3. So so you would be able to take. Alright, too, so. Mm -hmm. So check, of course, if, if, if it goes down and if the king goes on the back rank, um, it's bad for him because, of course, I basically move the queen um, to b1 or so and I'm threatening to just queen, um, mm -hmm. fly through with the queen. queen. Uh, so he goes up realizing that it's not possible to go on the back rank. Uh, queen takes, of course, he gets the um, c3 pawn, but of course, I, I saw that I can check when the king moves. I take on uh, C3 and I take on B6. And of course, um, this portion is just dead equal. Uh, there's, uh, there's no way to win this portion. Even if I probably win, win the uh, E4 pawn, it mm. will be still difficult to kind of win this portion. Yeah. But so here, I, I draw with a blue. By Shane shouting your out, Rosa. And this is. Uh, yeah, pick up my yeah man <laughs> so basically this is against and let let's be clear this is against the leading practitioner of the english attack basically the person who wrote the book on the english attack that you played the english attack you showed no fear and yeah. <laughs> and went all in against him all right guys so that's the first game that rosa chose i'm going to send the question out to see who gets to play him next. So what year did the win win his first national championship? Let's see, let's see who gets that. <laughs> I think you have an eight year old waiting to play you. No J Lai, go again. Mario Marshall says heal Rosa. Yeah, All right, hold on. Mario, Mario wants to play a host, John. Mario beat you to it. So, Mario, you have to just hold on. We have an eight year old that going to play him first. So, let's just change over. And then it's you to go, Mario. So, Mario, Mario, not giving up, giving them young youth any chance, Rosa. <laughs> Mario, is <stressing> Mario. <laughs> Mario just want to play chess himself. <laughs> <laughs> so Ranok, where are we? Tall chess. So Ranok, send through your challenge. He is Jamaica Tall. So this is our eight year old doing. So hopefully he'll yeah. he'll send through now. Okay, he's saying okay. Yeah. After that Mario, your turn after. So let's see what this eight year old do to Rosa now. Rosa don't take this eight year old for joke either the youth. <laughs> <laughs> we said the older ones, the 11 and 13 went first. Have, has he come, come through as yet? No, no. Is Jamaica uh, Jam, Jam underscore Tal. So I'm sending it back out again. That's, the, that's who you challenge. So guys, we just sent it out. Alright, so hopefully he'll send through. Done, he said he sent it to you. So Rosa, you seen a challenge? Okay. No, no challenge. Alright, what's the username that you're using now? That you're using now, Rana? Because he isn't seeing the challenge. So Rosa, while while we wait yeah. on that challenge to come through, I saw your author and not a chess author, but I went on yeah. Amazon and I, I searched for your name and up comes your book. Tell me about that. He he's uh, chess champ PJ, so you can also send the challenge if you want, Rosa. He's chess champ. I think it just came yeah, through. Yeah, I, 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 the challenge came through. Alright, so accept yeah, okay. it and then tell me about that book, Rosa. Later. Yeah. 
Alright, so come eight year old trick him gone for five minutes and say him not get the chance <laughs> after and trick him to a five minute game. So no, in, no increment. No increment. You think them cool? No we try blitz you. <laughs> <laughs> so guys remember it's three two. But Rosa, Rosa, them see that you're playing fast with the increments. Think them boy are easy. Uh. <laughs> So two people answered the question, Rosa, so you have Mara and then you have to be careful against this 14 year old, John Stevenson. Yeah. So you have those are the next two coming at you. Okay. <laughs> And what you notice that don't blunder just so when you start when we used to think about eight year olds and so on you think about a blunder by move ten and you just easy you pick up a piece and you go on about your business but not in modern Jamaica. <laughs> Iverson Chess, if you're still there, thanks for the follow. Now, Warren beat John last, last week, July. So, I'm have to start all over again. And if I did not, John will confirm very quickly because John not will let none of my, my statistics go. go. So, Rosa, if they beat two of the legends, yeah. I'm forced to play. So, you have to make sure say, you don't lose nothing here because the man them in the thing counting off who need to beat Rosa that I play. So, yeah. we're having none of that, Rosa. None of it. I come to watch Blitz and drink coffee. Oh, and John just correct me, so be careful with John Dwayne, be careful with John. John beat Warren last week. Yeah, uh, it's one, uh, ah, what's going on? <coughs> Remember no increments though, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. quick. Yeah, 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 man, eight year old fool you. So he yeah, have a careful. Rosa, this 80 year old now, take it easy, you know. <laughs> Under 10 champion of Jamaica. Oh. I'm losing the race. I'll fight.
they are real very quick Nash. I was commending them on that early on. They don't look like anybody with rush. So the matches with Joshi brush the rust off rose up. Little boy playing very mature now. I'm playing very mature. Yeah. Yeah, I'm playing very mature. Little boy playing very mature in the Rosa. <laughs> Little yeah. boy seeing tactics. <laughs> but for it, uh, you should remember all rook endings are dropped. <laughs> yeah. Though we have to put it to school, please, Rosa. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to marry, I'm trying to. You line up next in a Mario. Mario say you bluff him. <laughs> start thinking to win. Win, yeah. I think I can win this now. But what, what a, what a good fight. What a good fight by these guys. <laughs> Mara was unbelievable is that why it is eight years old. So yeah, the bluff is there, but why it is eight years old, Mario? Oh dear! Well done, well done, well done. Well done. Good, good game, though. Yeah, that's it for me. Yeah. And don't reach there yet, Rosa. And don't reach there yet. Yeah. Because this is, yeah, this is. A eight year old under ten champion of Jamaica matching straight into a rook ending up a pawn. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. so well, the master will kick in. Oh. The master will kick in, but this is a eight year old. Yeah, yeah, wow, yeah, 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 yeah. wow, 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 wow. Tremendous talent, yeah. Yeah man. Alright. 
So, ready Mario, ready up, your turn. Mario, yeah, send Mario. Yeah, man, Rosa look hype up. Your turn, Mario. <laughs> Alright, John, set up after. Rosa, don't play with John, you know. I tell you, don't play yeah. with John. <laughs> So Jam Tal again had sent it in the in the message. Jam underscore Tal. Okay. Alright, and next week we haven't spoken about next Monday. Next Monday we have the chess historian. The chess, I don't even know how to call him. Mr. Chess Drum himself, Dain Shabazz will be coming on the program next Monday to give us a complete walk down chess history. And I am so excited, Rosa, to have Daim. Yeah. And if you remember us telling him when I stopped him that we used to we used to be all hyped to see for coming in chess drum. So when we played we're going to check Yeah man, we're going to check chess drum to see if we're going to be on chess drum. So guys we're going to learn yeah. complete black chess history next week. When, when we have uh, Daim Shabazz on uh, talking about just chess, just throughout the history. Jamaican chess, Caribbean chess, African chess, everything to do with that. And you should check out his website. It's still the foremost. I'm an underscore in there. An uh, underscore in there, Mario. Uh, so, Jam, Mario, Jam underscore uh, Tal. Right, I just sent it. Yes, Nathan. So remember, this program is about passing knowledge on. So you are young, so you don't know about chess drum. So you need to go Google chess drum as the program finish and go and learn about Sir Shabazz. So McKinney's all of my guys, you'll be doing it. All right, and big match time. We have Mario with the white pieces. And E4 has been played. C5 a Sicilian. Let's get into this, guys. Knight F3, which line of the Sicilian will we have? Happily at home Sicilian on the board. C3, as soon as I say home Sicilian, he hits row with the row. So we'll be calling this the row to the half in the next two games. <laughs> so we have transposed into a funny Smith Morrow, giving up that E pawn, a funny Smith Morrow. Yeah, that central E pawn. <coughs> so it's a Smith Moore without an E pawn, yeah, which makes D5 possible. <laughs> Mario, when you throw the kitchen sink down in a youth. Yeah. Mario, come. Yeah, man, Mario's Mr. Kitchen Sink himself. They're in a normal chair for John, but I'm not in the mood to play, so I'll be cheering Rosa. Stupid, say hey, up Rosa Limo. Yeah, man, big up Stupid. And I see Terence has put it out. Come Saturday, remember, everybody is needed to be in this Uruguay team. So, Rosa, you have match Saturday. You're Jamaica against Uruguay. Yeah, man. Jamaica top of the table now, but we have the two hardest people to play, so team have to turn out full. So Rosa just trying to consolidate. Well, <laughs> don't lose on the spot, so try to consolidate. Yeah. Yeah man, 
Chess Ninja jumping up and down and said, Tactics! Well, let's see Chess Ninja. We also got D8. And serious match okay. time, Rosa. Them people coming for your scalp now, you know, man. <laughs> it's definitely coming for your scalp with moves like H4. Them money and around. So, John, ready up? likes that move so run up and put up whole heap of exclam so you have an eight year old uh, commentate now Ooh. not afraid Mario not afraid <laughs> Mario I hope you're listening man has said he's <laughs> not afraid spoken like Rosa Lima oh wow that one I didn't see yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, so Mario is saying, be afraid. <laughs> Alright. Uh, How comes Chess Ninja don't put up tactics again? Where is the compensation? Okay, let's see the compensation. Let's see the compensation. So for everybody who doesn't know Mario, Mario is an Olympian who has played on the which year was it? It was ninety. It was ninety eight on um yeah ninety eight Olympic team. Yeah, Elista. So Mario sharp like razor blade, as I see somebody said earlier. And the rules are all in that compy. Serious chess up play, people. Some serious, serious chess up play. Odin, welcome. This one done was a sip some tea. Later, what do you mean if I play? Rose, I'm going to make sure I don't play tonight. What's wrong?
Okay, let's save time. I'm, I'm going to rejoin Mario. Good game. Alright, so hold on, youth. Say have my coffee, man. Get some tea because this boy you want to prove something. So get some yeah. tea. Drink some tea. Home the eye up before this young boy come. <laughs> what up in a business where you do? But oh. home your eye up before this young boy come. This boy is sharp like lightning. Sharp. Yeah, and he have a point to prove. Good game, Good game Mario. So... So John, yes, you have to beat them consecutively. So once Rosa beats you now, that's it. So I send the challenge, you. Rosa, when we sip the tea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so, I, I, I <laughs> so the challenge coming from John the Baptist, and then we go back in. Yeah. No, I haven't seen the challenge yet. Uh. So Rosa focus this young man ready. You have me sweating in a youth, you have me sweating. <laughs> sweating. Okay. Richard has one and how long it would take Ulmas to shout out to the early on when when Rosa was was Enforcing the KC superiority, I expected a couple more Woolmas to shout out. But Woolmas look like them just reach. Yeah man, Mario a big big Wilma's old boy. So let me just tell you, this is another, this is another Wilma's young man here, and I seen Wilma's, yeah. I seen Wilma's shouting out all over the chat now. Mario, Richard, Stewart, <laughs> Sin boy, yeah, the the Wilma's youth them all over the place now. So the man walk with a <laughs> following. <laughs> Yeah man. But John is Ulmas also. Currently in Ul at Ulmas. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Okay, let's get out of the attack. Simba, you are hard there, no? No man, Laban, else KC, the other Laban went. KC, 
All the ball is a KC also, you KC man them shouting you out you. Okay. So a KC man in the crowd just Yeah man him just shout you out. <laughs> so him now leave you out him, so him now make all of the Wilmers man them out you. So him just shout out for it is for life. <laughs> Week. Don't let your time go down too much against them young boys, so watch it. Is looking outside. No, you better get it on side. John, oh, that's painful. Yeah, this is the young boy. This is the young man. And I'm going to see, yeah, the crowd going wild, Rosa. Yeah. The, too much, too much Wilma's youth. And now they're going to tell me I'm going to have to go play. Rosa, warm to you, my youth. <laughs> when I understand you, know, Rosa, warm to you, my youth. <laughs> <laughs> and they're saying that Woolmer's side, so Woolmer's going, going, going good. Joe, my next man, them all calling me, you know, Rosa. Yeah. Ah, boy. And the problem, the, if I need time to prep, the problem with these youngsters, you know, and the crowd, is that them really, yeah. really. Cheering the youngster on, you know, Rosa. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, he played, he played well, man. He played well. They're really cheering the youngster on. You can believe that, Rosa? Yeah. Tell me about, tell me about the book. Yeah, so, um, the, the book, uh, actually, my, my, the book is actually, um, translation of my, my dissertation at Cambridge um, University mm -hmm. into a book. So there is publisher, of course, um, I got a, 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 a distinction in my uh, dissertation at Cambridge. Um, a, a very good A, I got um, 82%. Uh, it was a very good grade. Um, and um, there's a publisher um, that specializes uh, in, um, in those uh, they, 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 they try to get people dissertation and convert them to books, essentially. So they, they, they actually check with the universities to, to, to see, okay, which dissertate, um, the list of the dissertation and so forth. And they, they approach me mm -hmm. and say that they, uh, they want um, to do a book about my dissertation. So right. it's some time, but of course, they eventually um, transfer it to a book. 
So uh, that book is on Amazon right now. Um, all right, yeah. so what was the dissertation on? That, so it, it was on planning more sustainable um, electricity generation system. Basically, more sustainable electricity. And I use uh, Jamaica as a case study, and I showed how you could um, uh, make your energy more sustainable. By sustainable, I mean more environmentally friendly, while being economic at the same time, and making, of course, um, energy security considerations. Um, so yeah, so eventually transferred the book to a, uh, the dissertation um, to, to a book. Um, yeah. Alright, so, and that's on Amazon? Yeah, it's on, on Amazon. So, don't, don't uh, rush out to buy the book at the same time. <laughs> you don't want Amazon to crack, right? <laughs> <laughs> So how do we do this, Rose? Or how you how you send challenges? I've never sent a challenge in my life. So how do you do that? Yeah. Yeah. How do you do that? Um. So okay. What, what is your? Let me look you up. What is your? I come in. So I do all of the things you know. I just don't know what's the last thing. So I, I look for him. Put his challenge three two. Yeah, there, 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 there's a there's a uh, uh, two sword um, cross. Yeah, man. So I do the two sword cross. And I see him up there and I change the time. So what happens now? How do you actually send you it? Press OK. Once you press OK, it's supposed to... I don't say OK. okay. I don't say OK. Um, once, once you select the time, is there, there's no button? I don't well, say well, OK. Once it's here, let me look you up. Yeah, hold on. I will send it to you. But I, ch okay. I looked him up. And then I just challenged him. So what are they saying, Rosa? Please send a copy to JPS. Them killing us. <laughs> <laughs> so so you see, they're getting a following with everything. <laughs> <laughs> So, talking about dissertations though, how many, you have done more than one master's? Yeah, I've, I've done three master's so far. Three master's? Um, yeah, so the last one was the MBA um, at Warwick University. Then before that I did a, a, a master's at Cambridge University which was uh, called Engineering, MPhil in Engineering for Sustainable Development. Mm -hmm. And then of course the, the, the first master's was at UWI. Um, which is basically power systems engineering. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I still don't see the thing there. What, what is there? You that is sent. Uh, it's sent. No, I don't see it come through. No, man, not for you, for John. Okay. John will beat you. So okay. I have to be a man of my word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But hold on, John, how come you're not accepting yet? So, the, so I see somebody say the only masters them have is, is, is a national master. <laughs> Rosa, let me see if I remember how to play this game, yeah? I've been playing a long yeah. time ago. I don't know if that's correct, <laughs> F3. I don't know if that's correct. You see, this is why I don't play young boys. They play moves like that. Which is something I see on, on what you call it. I think I watched... Yeah, I think I watched... What you call him play it? Um, was it, was it Akeem? David, David, I think David will call it David. Yeah, but it, but it's not from, it's from the young boys, man. Okay. The young boys have been played it. So I'm not even sure what the young boys call it. But the young boys have been playing, playing these sort of things. 
I don't know what they call it though. Oh, and he'll just naturally cast her that way. Alright, let's clarify the center then. This is really interesting the way you know. Yeah. Nah. Not that interested in going into these sort of things. <laughs> Definitely not that interested in going into this sort of thing though, you know. Main thing is time now, you know. When you when you're my age, time is a factor. The way in time is a factor. Factor, yeah. Time is a huge factor at my age. Oh, uh, the wind! What's that? I just drop a rook in the better position. The wind! Ah! Ah! That pissed me off. How do you think that is? Ah! Ah! That pissed me off. But PG-13, ah, work too hard to play a rugby one. Ha 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 ha, well done little youth. <laughs> nah man, time, no, but I resigned already. Where is the thing there? I resigned from 50 minutes, from thing there out. 
But no, the time wasn't low. I had 50 odd seconds. That's not low. That's definitely not low. Oh, we lost through a second. So let's get him back. Loser. Alright, and you're back. Rosa, yeah. I'm not playing with B1 when I when I they're cruising you. What sort of madness is that? This real <laughs> thing is real. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not seeing your screen though, Joe. No man, I don't share back yet. This chest yeah, thing yeah. is fun though. <laughs> this chest thing is fun. <laughs> so, Rosa. Your second game, yeah. Hold on, let's go over to your second game. Push ups, yeah, push ups. I have to do the push ups. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Hold on, what happened? What did you get push ups for? Ah, uh, don't worry. Don't worry. Piss me off the weak deep on. Ah. <laughs> Just simple work now. Simple work. The deep on is weak. And not, uh, not happy at all. Not happy at all. Not happy at all. 100 push ups on video. Probably. <laughs> Especially because deep on weak. You'd have the targets on B2. Ah, better pawn structure, life. Rosa, this is why you don't stop play chess. <laughs> but for a man who don't play from 2012, hmm. <laughs> all right, all right, Rosa Lieber, talk to us the the Angela Young game. Yeah, so this was played um, in North America. Um, chess Open in Las Vegas in 2015. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Angela Young is a I am. Um, I know to the American I am. I read up on, the, on this. is a Filipino I am living in the US. Yeah. Uh, and, I, and an interesting fact about him, uh, when, I, when I, I, I actually Google him um, on, on US in there, is that he, he got his, his I, am, I am title in 21 days. So, he got three I am norm in 21 days, which is, which is amazing. In 21 um, days? Yeah, but remember, US, there are some games, um, they play two games per day, right? Mm -hmm. In a lot of US open, open um, tournaments, you play two, two days per year. That, that must be the case. Uh, but he got it, he, um, he said that he got three iron um, norms in 21 days. You're on good form when those things happen, boy. You're on good form. Yeah, yeah, that I means you're playing back to back tournaments and you're basically cleaning up. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, so I'll say that I am. Um, I played white, I think it was round, round five of the um, North America um, Open. It was interesting, I, I, I actually beat two IM back to back in round five and in round six. Okay, nice. At the, uh, at the four nice. And I think it may have been the first time I beat two strong IM back to back. Uh, so I'm satisfied with my play. Okay, nice. And, and I put Mario Marshall was there in um, Las Vegas as well and, and Malapula. Okay, so Mario. Um, Tournament, but that was uh, Mario. Mario wasn't playing, but um, Mar all right. So, you had good friends with you, all right. So, let's walk us through. Yeah, 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 I yeah. see David Chess in the house. Thanks for the follow, big fan of your YouTube chess yeah. station. So, yeah. let's run through this one, Rosa. Let's see because I know you played okay, one so of your favorite of course, openings, yeah. So, of course, uh, I go into the, the, the Smith Mora. The first take, well. It, I play E4, he play Sicilian, going to Smith Mora, and he push pass. Of course, he's, he's a coward, I think. Normally, when uh, they, they don't take the pawn and C3, uh, they're coward, <laughs> or yellow belly. But anyway, he doesn't take it, but um, I have one of uh, a book by Esteman, Mark Esteman. He wrote up a book on the Smith Mora. Oh, okay. And he said, okay, when, when you pawn it, don't, don't, don't take on um, C3, you play the Mora bind. Right? Uh, which is basically uh, analogous to the, the, the Maroxibai. So, 
Yes, yeah, so I'm going to try to set up a, 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 Morox, a Morobine kind of position. So my opponent um, tries to pinch to the bishop, develop, pinch it, uh, development move. Um, here I played h3 because, of course, if the bishop comes to g4, it's quite annoying because then my opponent could take and then play knight e5 and, and do a lot of uh, simplification and position. So that's why I played h3. Knight f6, develop. So it's pretty much development, developing moves. So both, both um, players developing moves. So here, queen d2. At some point, I may go bishop a6 and, and start a kingside attack. Knight c5, he attacks the bishop. Um, I'm keeping the bishop for now. Bishop e3. So my opponent develops with tempo. Um, so I defend the pawn and c4 that's been attacked, play queen a5, and of course, um, knight d4 is probably the only move, um, in this position, play rook f c8, rook a c1, queen b5, so now I go f4, a5, F5, Bishop, D7. So, let's let's take stop at this point in the, in the game, right? Now, as, as you'll see, essentially, if, let, let's cut the board in two halves, right? In the, in, in the middle of the board. Let's cut the board in two halves. As you can see, on the queen side, right? Black has almost all of his pieces except one, which is the Bishop on G7. So, Black is heavily invested on the on the queen side whereas on the king side um hello yeah man i'm here we're here oh, okay yeah yeah on the king side you'll see that black only has the, 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 the bishop on g7 whereas white um has the rook on f8 he has he has the bishop on e3 right and because queen is a long is a, is a long range piece the queen my queen is also uh, looking over the queen side my bishop on c2 is also looking over the king side. My knight uh, on um, d4, then go to f5. So all of my pieces are most of my pieces are focused on the king side, while my opponent is heavily committed on the queen side. So after after basically attack on the king side, and my opponent will try to basically break through on the, king, on the queen side. So at this point in time, I, I was looking and I said, okay, I need to be fast because he's going to play a4 uh, next move. And after that, the study is breaking through. Um, so at this point, I played f6. And of course, if he played bishop f6, I would immediately take off with, with, with the rook. Uh, because that's the only piece. And then, of course, I'll, I'll go over and try to checkmate this king. Mm -hmm. Bishop a6, queen a, f4. And, and try to checkmate this king. Um, so, of course, he takes with the pawn. So I attack that pawn. He take, takes. Now, here, I want to bring my knight on c3 into the, into the game, of course. Now, but if I move my knight, of course, you'll exchange queen, and then basically black would be better. Uh, they, 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 they say that every chess player, in, in, in every position, you should always ask if you exchange queen, who's better, basically. Uh, because sometimes, why, why they say exchange queen and not other pieces? Because normally when you exchange queen, is a major... Transformation, transformation of the position, and sometimes you might be winning with queen on the board, and you exchange queen, and you're losing basically uh, because it's kind of a major uh, transformation in the position. So uh, of course I, I want to bring my knight uh, to d5, mm -hmm. um, it, but of course his queen is on d4. So I play this move. A3. So Brandon, you shout out the move, yep. So Loban, your fellow KC. They have played a3 also. Yeah. So basically, um, I'm going for the attack, right? I need to get my knight moving. Um, and his, his queen is in the way right now. So basically, I sacrificed one more pawn. Um. So it didn't, it didn't, it didn't take it because if you take it actually, um, then I think I'd be much better because of course I, I can go knight d b5, right? And then. Queen takes d6, where my bishop on e3, 
and my um, queen on d6 will be attacking c5 pop knight where and also the c5 knight is defending the e7 bishop so um it'll basically start the um it will be very bad for him <laughs> steel pulse anyway. is a lot of them in the audience you know steel pulse so mind how you shout them out <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm asking oh, some questions oh, oh. about about KC. So I'm advising him yeah. that a lot of them. Not sure which school he yeah. rep Steel Pulse, but hopefully a lot are backing in the crowd for you when you go after yeah. a school like that. <laughs> yeah. So of course, he reaches the queen mm -hmm. to B5, bringing in my. That was the, the, the entire plan. I'm bringing in my pieces into, 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 into the game. I'm attacking, right? Getting yeah. the attack point. Uh, he retreats, and of course, this b5 square also is an excellent square for my other knight. So I, 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 I've just brought forward both knights, and they are, have ex they are an excellent outpost at the moment. Basically. Uh, the knight on d5 is an excellent piece, um, and of course, the, the knight on b5 is also excellent, attacking the b6 um, pawn. And uh, of course, it's difficult for him to defend that pawn actually. Um, so at this point he played a4, right? Uh, I went b5, knight there, and of course I have to take a knight. Mm -hmm. And of course I just take my <coughs> this. Yeah, but your pieces um, look so good. Those yeah, pieces that coming knight in. Yeah, knight on b5 and uh, b6 yeah. are excellent actually. Yeah. Right, so they, 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 um, they control the board. That, that works. Yeah. So it takes an A3. I give him and a. Here comes a bishop. Ooh. Bishop. Yeah. Look on peace play. Uh, Guys so in the yeah. crowd, look on peace play. The knights, the bishop, yeah. everything coming in. Yeah. Knight takes that. Um, rook. Bishop takes. And of course, I go here because, of course, um, uh, I can't allow him to play um, rook A2, which he will get some activity. So of course I um, attack the rook and attack the pawn. And if rook, rook eight will play queen d three and the rook is being attacked anyway. So he, he goes up and of course he's, 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 he's planning. Um, here is rook takes the bishop, right? Mm -hmm. um, that bishop is uh, a powerful piece in terms of the dark square. So I'm not allowing him to, him to take that bishop. So play here. Uh, of course he plays a five. So he's attacking my queen as well now. Um, so of course I don't want to exchange um, queens. So I I I I, I take like this. Mm -hmm. At this point, he played um, queen b8. Um, and of course, what I did, I, I brought the next piece into the, the game. This rook on c1. I brought it in the game, yes. so I'm attacking, I'm threatening knight to d7 check, and I would win the queen. Um, so he plays bishop d7. Um, here I could play b5, no, but of course I didn't really like knight a5, yeah, b4, and of course can bring back the, the rook. Uh, the rook. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I take an um, f5 basically, so I'm threatening f6 is a powerful move as well and, and, and he cannot take an f5 uh, because of course I'll, I'll play knight e7 and win the queen as I said so here he played um, rook um, a8 because of the b5 threat um, so I played f6 uh, bishop goes to f8 and then I play knight e6 and now the rook on uh, d1 is active, and the knight on d6 is threatening um, the bishop. Right, so I'm threatening another piece. To win another piece. So he plays, and of course I'm attacking the rook. The knight uh, e, e5, I'm taking material. So both my knights have taken both of these rooks. Right, because of course the knight went to excellent square, and of course uh, they, they look up, became powerful pieces. The exchange here. Queen takes, and of course, right now it's very simple. Um, uh, quickly, the so queen, queen to e3, attacking the knight, and of course the rook on d1 is 
the assassin the bishop. For example, if you went queen to e8 to defend both, I would play rook takes uh, bishop. Yeah, rook d7. The knight is pinned, yeah. and of course, if queen takes a win, a win thing, then uh, they are rook up. So it, it cannot defend uh, the position. So you went here, and of course, it's. Yeah, wow. So, okay. End the game because the bishop is hanging. The bishop. And you have to um, exchange queen and all that stuff. Yeah, you um, pick up the bishop. Two. You pick up the d7 because bishop, yeah, the bishop. Wow, this is clinical. This is clinical. This is seen. Rosa at your best, boy. I remember this tournament. And yeah. Yeah, man. It was a good look. It was a good look. You had a number of really, really good games in this tournament, Rosa. Mm. And number of them. Yeah, so Rosa. I know we yeah. have where we talk about we have some more games to play. Yeah, it was brutal. And you still have a couple more to come, so trust me. Excellent game, Rosa. So they're asking about the Gibraltar tournament. We still have a couple more games to go through. So if you remember during that period, Rosa was playing Gibraltar, he played New York, he played that the invitational. I don't remember where that invitational. But he was playing all over the place. So we have two more games to go through for Rosa. Rosa, we spoke about yeah. dream teams. We talk about sentimental teams. Before the next three Blitz games, let's tell me, yeah. who is your dream team? And then I'm always very interested in sentimental team. So yeah. which you're tackling first? They, they, they could be the same. I think the, 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 the dream team is the, uh, it's like the big four. Yeah. Um, of course, you, magician, warrior, and myself. I think uh, that, that team is a, was a very good team, and um, I was even putting down the idea that maybe we can play one more. On I year. saw you start um, up some um, controversy in a group with that, you know. <laughs> I saw it, <laughs> yeah, and then I heard yeah, that I was a coach full time, so. <laughs> uh, yeah. I read it. I think that team is a dream team because I think there is, on a good day, anyone on that team can create. Can be anybody. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> eh, eh, eh. Yeah. Yeah. And we have done that. Anyone we have done that. that. Can be anyone. GM, anybody. And uh, on a good day, they will beat anybody. Yeah. So I think it's a, it's a, it's a good team. I, uh, and if, if, for example, that team should arrive at the Olympics, everybody on farm. The problem is that rarely you have everybody on farm. Yeah. And that, that, you know, that's the problem. You know? But anyhow, they could arrive. That team could arrive at the Olympics. Every all four and four. It would be a thing to see. It would be a thing to see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, well, who is your sentimental team, though? Did you look back on that to see was there any player that you would really like to sit down outside of the big four, just throughout your life, and play on an Olympia team with? Ah, uh, well, um, I in terms of any new generation, you have people like, like, like uh, as they uh, uh, saved you, <laughs> Joshi. Uh, I, of course, I played one Olympics with him. He's a, he's a, he's a good guy, um, yeah. very humble and so forth. I expect um, great things from him. From him, yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm going, uh, there's a month so where I'm doing a feature on the future and he'll be one of them yeah. that I that I want him Alan, Alan that I'm going to interview the four of them that they can tell us clearly what is in store for their future and then allow us to take that journey with them so towards yeah, yeah, August, yeah. September I'll be doing those features on the future okay nice, nice. so Joshi, Joshi is one of them. Anybody else? Ah, uh, that's it. You come on, Akeem, and Dave. Yeah, ask them as, as, as I say. Um, so you, like, you'd want to play. play future, so hold yeah. on. Your sentimental team can be a reality in a Rosa. All you have to do is make, a, make the next Olympia team. And it might be sentimental. So you might have your sentimental. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. So Rosa, head over, head over again. I soon tell them exactly what. We have a 30 seconds. So head over to your blitz. Yeah. And set get ready. So I'm going to send out exactly what. While we wait. 
When you talk through what time it is there, because Rosa, you're in a man now. Yeah. What time is it there? 6.15 Boy, we appreciate like this. Yeah, because from 4 o'clock you have been on with us. So really appreciate yeah, yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Alright guys, that's it. Rosa, first person to challenge your accent. Okay. Tell me who it is. Sin boy. Sin, Sin boy. boy, fast on the trigger, you know. Yeah. So we stream, boy. yeah, we stream well here on Twitch, Steel, Steel Pulse, and then we're going to upload the yeah, leeches. So I, I stream on leeches, and then I upload later on on YouTube. So Shane's Shane's video is there. So guys, go and check out Shane's video when we finish. Also, we, Nations Cup Steel Pulse is on on Saturday so we don't do that one on leeches but everything else we do on leeches right now Mario right now Rosa work here them young boys not easy so every game I work <laughs> but the man them laughing and said that you soon go work <laughs> <laughs> So this all fortis battle. Steel Pulse, I don't know, but I don't think he's an upstart at all. I'm a huge supporter of Orlando's. So definitely not an upstart and somebody that I encourage. But we'll see with the farm. We'll see the farm. Bruce, remind them that you are from Excelsior to hear. I saw them listing out some Excelsior people. Shane was looking for a team to play with. So just remind them that you are from Excelsior also. So back to Steel Pulse. Steel Pulse, I think the Caribbean is blessed right now with a couple players that are the real thing. I think Josh is the real thing. I think that Orlando is the real thing. So, I'll be cheering for them and helping in any way I can. Alright, Warren, I see, I see that question. We'll, we'll go with that. I agree that he needs to be pushed. Yes, J. Lloyd, Trinidad has, has Alan. They also have Kevin, who is not that old either. So, Trinidad has some talent. So as I say, towards end of August to September, I'll be doing the features on, maybe even earlier, because I've already gotten confirmation from a couple of them, to do features on the future. And therefore, you'll get to hear exactly what, what their aims are and what their dreams and ambition. I've seen that for Orlando. So we'll get to hear all of that. Have you set a, a timeline for that challenge, Steel Pulse? Mm 
Okay. Okay, that's a good challenge. What is he at now? That's a difficult challenge if he's that out here is 24 going 25. If it's 23, that's a difficult challenge. 24 is 25, then it's doable. Has he taken your challenge up as a serious challenge? He's 24 30. Has he taken it as a serious challenge? Beautiful. So he has taken it out. Rosa, you're quiet. Yeah. You're quiet. I see yeah, the position I as I saw a position as squeeze, but it, it wiggling out.
Yeah, Hoshi, Miss B2. Hosh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Miss B2. I think I didn't play a real game. No, man, just B2. Just B2. When you got, when attack the pawn on D2, just B2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just B2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah,
Learning process, Excelsior in the house. Then we have this double edge position here also. You took a yes. Alright, and Dynam is in the house. says big up Rosa. Fifty <laughs> percent increase. Taking off in time with these socks, man. Ha ha ha. She ain't writing, they're writing a book on that. Oh, Queen A3, let's see this. Nation Blitz read why appreciated welcome guys welcome 
We are with candidate Master Dwayne Rowe going through his whole career. Bruce Wayne, thanks for the follow, Dynamic Chess, thanks for the follow. And Dwayne is a legend in Jamaican chess. So he has been two grandmasters so far, going through his games and his life story. What we do, we sit, we discuss, and we play blitz. So guys, I put his handle in, in which is Jamtal, and one of the one of the people who just raided, you're up for the next game. So as soon as this game is finished, just challenge, just challenge Jamtal. So Rosa, down to 30 seconds now. Yeah. <laughs> well, you sack a rook and you sack a bishop, so let's see how this goes. And we have some national bits league players who come to challenge you now. So you take on two of them and let's see. Looking like him holding the piece of Rosa. Yeah. Yeah, well. Just warm up, we have some visitors that are ready to play you. Yeah. Alright, so for the next two challenge, all the members from National Blitz League to challenge Rosa. We're playing 3 2. I try to allude. <laughs> Dynamic chess boy, I appreciate the subscribe. So definitely, you know, you have to send the first challenge, Dynamic chess. Not easy enough at all. <laughs> yeah. Boy, I'm not like you know, I'm proud of my students because they're moaning, they're moaning, they're moaning right now. I'm very yeah, proud of them. Yeah, I'm proud of them. I'm very proud of them. So, Dynamic Chess Inc., you see the Jam underscore chess. I'm tall. Jam underscore tall. So send the challenge at 3 2 once this game finish. And then after that game, somebody else from National Bits League is send your challenge. Then we go back into looking on Rose game. We're going to do the, the game that got voted in what, what was that league? Cambridge against Oxford Rosa. When you got the brilliant Right, brilliant surprise in the Oxford varsity uh, Oxford against Cambridge varsity match. That's over a hundred years, isn't it? Yeah. Alright. So so try to pull something out of the heart for this one. Looking a little hard though, my friend. The, the, yeah. the young players come, come to play tonight. <laughs> yeah, but that's a little curious on his part. Yeah. Yeah, to keep fast fun uh, under control. They're, they're criminals. Yeah, and with that 20 seconds going down, that might be problematic for him. Wait, no, I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of 
<laughs> I thought you'd be a talk with a change. <laughs> yeah, Mario, I'm very proud of them. They're playing really strong right now. And in that South American league that we're playing in, we're second by in Costa Rica with one round to go. So minimum second, we're trying for first. Careful now. Wow, wow, wow. Where is he going to go? Ah, uh, that's a disappointment. Yeah. Play too well to, to be make to make that mistake. Oh, he's trying to uh, trap my rope. He's going to Started 1873. That long ago, Mario? 140 years. Wow. And in Rose's edition, he got the brilliant surprise, which we'll be looking at after the next two Blitz games. Yeah, that's all she would do. Alright, dynamic chess, line up once once the resignation comes. Send through your challenge. Alright, so century challenge, dynamic. Well yeah, Bruce did well, but towards the end it falter too much. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so dynamic chess Darren? Darren who? Darren M. So dynamic chess. Yeah, yeah. No, okay, the, the challenge should come from Dynamic Chess. Okay, I don't see it. Alright, what's the username Dynamic Chess? I'm not sure. So the next challenge... So Dynamic Chess, hopefully you'll send a challenge. If not, anybody else from National Bits League, jump in. Challenge. Okay. All right, so go. Who is this? So click, cause only we will be sending you. So just yeah, man, just national bits going to be sending you now. Okay. So let's go. Who are we playing? Uh, Iron Blade team at Adrian, right? Come on. Iron Blade J A. All right, so welcome, welcome, Iron Blade. And then hopefully after that dynamic chess ink will will play. So Red Scorpio in the house, big up Red Scorpio. Not not just National Bits League, so Adrian. Big up. That chance to breed against these players in a man. Yeah. Like everybody here, the great Russell D. Moise here and coming. And remember, next week, guys, we have Dime Shabazz. 
Mr. Chess Commentator, Mr. Oh, each time I'm about to talk, I say I move tune. Mr. Chess Drum himself will be on giving us the whole history of Chess Drum and all of those very interesting tidbits about black chess throughout the last 20 years because he has been on for 20 years. So they said the original rivalry, St. George's versus KC. <laughs> but good friend because I've seen Rosa has been sponsoring a couple of the Red Scorpion and I've been following it really well. Extremely exciting tournament there. So congrats, well done Adrian, well done Rosa. Really, really exciting chess. What's happening here, guys? Those black pieces looking real interesting. Real, real well placed, boy. So remember, as this finishes, send another challenge. In. Hopefully dynamic chess is here, if not, somebody else from Blitz League sent through. Rosa, normally you're talking and commentating. I realize tonight that them, them, these players not not enjoying it at all, not allowing you. Mm. Mm. It's one it's one easy not to listen not to either. Uh, Adrian might not be be liking that right now. Trying to survive. <laughs> Alright, so we'll have one more blitz game and then we're going to look on the game that won Dwayne this brilliant surprise in the varsity match. Dwayne, him, him, him not stopping it or doing him going, come and come and come. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so ready up the challenge. And remember we have game of the week coming up at the end. We have three nominations. So we have to vote on that. The crowd usually chooses that. 
So, yeah, and that's the match. Yeah, that's the match. All right, one more challenge, and we'll go into that. So, National Blitz League, send your challenge to Jamaica underscore Tal. So, once it comes in, Rosa, yeah. accept it, and then we go again. All right, another 10 seconds. If not, yeah, Red Scorpion, welcome, my brethren. Enjoying your tournament, and you're supposed to get back to me by Wednesday. Hopefully, that's a go. All right, so open challenge. Anybody for row? One last game before we go back in. Yeah, that's in a... So that's why right. open challenge. Let me send. Okay, a piece of tree. Yeah. All right. Getting a lot of blocks though, Rosa. Yeah. <laughs> Cesar, so the next round. Alright, your first up next round, Cesar. So after we look through the game that won him the brilliant surprise, you're first up next round. Peter T taking space on that queen side Rosa. So he Thank hit him in the center. So remember, if you have any questions for the win, just put it in caps, and I'll see it, and we, and I'll ask them in between games. Stream and tech challenges. I'm not sure, you know, if there's a demand for it. Steel Pulse. I'll, I'll actually think about it. Right now, I'm ensuring that the history of Caribbean chess is documented live via video to pass on. To the next generation of players so that's actually my mandate because i want to see the next i want to see the grandmaster coming out and one of the disadvantages we had is that we didn't have the knowledge passed down to the next generation so that is what my i am doing that's actually what my caller order is right now ensuring that these young players who i believe will get the gm and the future of the caribbean is that we leave we pass on our knowledge to them but if the demand is there to stream and tech challenges definitely later i'll be doing that ah you did it in cuba 96 no? so inbox me and inbox me at um peterson on leeches just leave leave your number and i'll contact you and we talk <laughs> what a good memory. Ah, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> good memories, good memories. Rosa, I'm being reminded of Cuba, Rosa. Yeah. So, so, National Blitz. 
Cuba 9697 have been reminded when we left out uh, out of national champs and went cross. <laughs> Good times. Good times. Good times, yeah, definitely. <laughs> hold on, is that Gibbo? Hold on. Gibbo, eh? Yeah. Hold on, man. I'm sure that's Gibbo right now, you know. It has slow on it, but welcome, Gibbo. Welcome. Ha <laughs> ha Welcome. Steel Pulse, Shane, Shane, and I do something on Wednesdays where we go down memory lane. And I'll talk to Shane about this Wednesday. We may be able to do something on Thomas Figueroa. So Kevin came last Wednesday and we did the tribute to Bob. But Thomas Figueroa, we I'll talk with Shane after this and see if Wednesday we can actually focus on him. And then we we'll tell the story then. So on Wednesdays we have walked down memory lane. And come say hi. So my son's birthday today, so I promised him he'd be able to come on and say hi. So here we have a role playing. And this is just not a birthday face. Because it's happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So happy birthday, Jojo. You who started it that way. <laughs> So history of Jamaican chess, the first volume by Bertram, have to commend, have to commend. And I think it's September. I think it's September. I went on Amazon and I saw that I could get it at September. Rosa, you won with what? Five yeah. seconds to go? I tell you, Josh, you get you in form, you know, guys. I tell you, Josh, you get you in form. All right, so let's go over and give us the story. You're in Cambridge. You're in Cambridge, Rosa. And Talk to me about how big is this match? How big is this match? So, uh, okay, so, um, I have to tell you about the, so, there's a big rivalry between um, Cambridge and Oxford each year, varsity. They yeah. Play, they play a number of um, events. It's not only chess, it's almost all sports. Okay. Let me give you an example of how big the rivalry is. There is a guy from my uh, in my class, um, he was from Stan he, he was from Stanford from California. He, he, he went to Stanford and then he came to Cambridge to um, his master. So he was in my class. So he was on Cambridge rowing team, right? Um, that basically row against um, Oxford. Now rowing is a very big big thing. That guy actually most of the time we didn't see him in class because he was in training, and of course. They would videotape the classes so that he, of course he, he, he could um, watch wow. the lessons at a, at a later time. But most of the time he was actually in training, uh, rowing uh, to, to for this one event, which is the varsity against um, uh, Oxford. So the varsity is, is, was such, such a big event, and of course um, rowing was, was, was the a big thing. Event, yeah. Yeah. yeah, Cambridge Cambridge won, and I think he came, there, there was a team, cover the team on the Times, or something like that, um, in the year, Times Magazine. Wow, so that, wow, that, so that, it's that, just that huge. Is. So, talk to uh, me about this game, because this game came in the English newspaper. Who had, who yeah, had picked so, this yeah, game? So, uh, talk to me about it. It was featured in, 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 in about two or three English newspapers, um, analyzed by GM and so forth. Um, 
Yes, so it, 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 it was a, a really big game for me, one of my, my, my as I say, remember, uh, memorable accomplishments. Yeah, because in the game, in, 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 in the UK, you see in the UK, because that's how I saw it. That's how I saw it. I got a clipping. Yeah. That is how I saw it. I got a clipping and then yeah. I saw it on chess base. Because chess base also yeah, featured yeah, yeah, it. Yeah. So I saw it on chess base yeah. and I saw it in the UK newspaper and I went, oh my, 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 Rosa. I'm so yeah. proud, my you. Yeah. I'm so proud. You know me. Yeah. Yeah. I love when I love when we accomplish. I love when Caribbean accomplish. I love when Jamaica accomplish. I love it. I love it. Nothing makes me happy. It makes me happier than even when I accomplish. And you guys know this. So, yeah, 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 I'm so yeah, proud. Yeah. So, yeah, man, walk yeah. us through the game. Who is it against? So, um, so yeah, I should mention as well that they, 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 at the time, um, Oxford had, had, had basically outrated Cambridge. They were highly favored to win. And Oxford even had Grandmaster Luke McShane yeah. um, on, on the team, basically. Um, Luke McShane, basically, at the time was, I think, number three in the UK. So Luke McShane was, was actually playing for Oxford. Um, so it was quite a good feeling that, of course, my game was selected over even Luke McShane's game. Yeah. So, I um, think he made a comment it, that, that I, I think he also commented how good the game was in one of the papers. I think yeah, one yeah, of the comments yeah, he had commented yeah. how good the game was. He was, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, E4, D6. Uh, so, I am playing a uh, woman, I am Alina Batswan. Mm -hmm. Some background of her, she was a uh, 22, 80, 81 um, yellow, but she, she's from Ukraine. She was actually mm -hmm. the manager of World champion Rustan pa Panamario. Oh wow. Um yeah. So so when I saw it at first, uh, when I Googled her so her wiki page came up and said, Well, manager of Rustan pa Panamario. So she was from Ukraine. Of course she was studying at Oxford. So she went for the perk. I went to Bishop E three and H three. And I was telling Joma that actually this line I knew from um, when I was studying with Drummond and of course Drummond's uh, New Interest series and this was one of the variations from one of, one of Drummond's New Interest series. So I'm sure I am Drummond played a role in, 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 in the game. Well, I'm happy. So yeah. I went for this line, this H, um, H3 H3. line. The idea is essentially to, so I can play Queen D2 without um, have to worry about that G4. Right? Um, and some, some variation I can play G, F4 and Knight F3. Um, that's how I get this H3 move. Mm -hmm. So she went uh, knight ed 7 of course, uh, uh, develop again, um, trying to decide where she's going. And uh, she went E6, of course, um, and of course, Queen D2. So, of course, she's probably making some waiting move. She, now she played uh, D6. And I think why this game was so good is that. At this point in time, um, I recognize that that D6 is an inaccuracy, and there is I can actually make some um, some very forceful move at this point in time. Basically, the thing is is that I've, I've leading leading development. If if I didn't make this move now, then basically my advantage will slip away. Afterwards, she will she will basically set it. So realizing that this is the only time, and I, I guess that's why the game was so good. This is the only time I could play, um, I need to play E5. Just so this side of F6 does, doesn't have any retreating square, mm -hmm. right? Um, and of course, this E6 square is, is weak as well, uh, which is part of it, as you'll see. So here, I have to go for E5, basically. Mm -hmm. um, so Rosa, not, 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 not good as well, I see they, somebody asks, sorry, I see somebody asks a question and I'd have waited normally, but it's a question I have to, and I'll upgrade yeah. his own. Do, will you commit the time in the next year to two to go for your IM title? Is your life at the stage where you can commit your time now to go for that IM title? No, I, 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 I think so. I think I want to do it. I am Sorry, happy I to hear that. Because the, the time is really the issue. That's, that's the only thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the time is the time issue. Alright, beautiful. So, Jayla, you heard it there. It's not FM. The rules are bigger than FM. <laughs> it's about going for that IM title. Whatever comes along the way, we call Brata. But it's about going for that yeah, IM yeah. title. So, 
Once you have the once you have the time, Rosa, you will do that. All right, so okay. go on, Rosa. Yeah, yeah. So E5, of course, the night has to go back. And of course, here I say I'm, I'm leading development to C6 square this week. So basically, um, at this point, I played uh, Bishop B5, right? And also, the, the point of Bishop B5 is that if you play Bishop B7, then when I'm castling it, and I castle, I'm getting a tempo on the, the knight and um, D7. Which is what she does. She just play Bishop D7, and of course, I castle, getting a tempo. Um, I'm developing with tempo, so that, that's one of the best things you can do is to develop with tempo, right? Now, my opponent, and, and, and this is what I saw as well, when my opponent play C6, to kind of um, get rid of the bishop um, alliance, basically, I have this move, which is based on the fact of the, it's, when she plays C6, she has um, the bishop on D7 no longer uh, control the e4 square so i play knight so the weak square d6 right? and yeah. the idea is that the knight is going to d6 to check and taking off the bishop on um b7 and, and black king will be in the center cannot castle against and of course um it's, it's only to be a matter of time because there's weak dark squares and a bishop coming to g5 and support uh, um so, so my Rosa, is hold on one sec so for the junior players out there look and and see how he maximizes his pieces no matter what even with the bishop on the attack that d d6 square is weak the king is potentially weak so he maximizes his piece play no matter what and that is characteristic of of rosa play rosa's play yeah so here uh, my opponent plays the knight on the and i saw that coming and the idea is that Okay, what to do with that move? Uh, of course, before I, I, I saw it, I was calculating. Of course, before the move, I was calculating whether to go queen b b four or queen um, c three. And of course, afterwards, I thought that queen b four would, would have been a, a, a bad move. Not, uh, not really a blunder, but a bad move because after queen b four, uh, my opponent could go queen e seven. And that although when I check knight d six and check. The king can go to f8 and then my knight now spin uh, because his queen on e7 is attacking my queen um uh, spin and the knight on d7 because his queen on e7 my knight on d6 should be pinned uh, because my queen is on b4 so um yeah i don't want to go to um d6 basically to, to b4 so of course queen c3 is, is the correct move um in the position the correct move so now i'm attacking the knight on e5 right the knight on e5 is pinned, by the way, um, and I'm attacking the queen. The rook on d1 is attacking the queen. So, how does my opponent defend? So, my opponent play queen um, b8, try to hold the knight on um, e5, to try to defend the knight. But, of course, knight check is coming in. Still that weak b6 um, square, boy. <clears throat> square, that weak square. King goes e7, and I'm taking a piece. Well, my opponent takes take back the, the piece on, on B5 because my piece was uh, was costing him. Yeah. So here, actually, I was I was looking at um, his other move. For example, if if my opponent had gone Bishop E5, Queen E5, if they had played, for example, um, F6, I was even looking at Bishop G5, uh, um, taking advantage of another pin and and Rook E1. E, um, H E1 to get the pieces in against the king. As I said, I am going after the king in this portion. No doubt, the king is in the center. Um, so pawn takes, knight takes, pawn takes, queen takes, right? And here my, my opponent play bishop um, d5. And of course, the, the, the rook on h8 is, is, is free, it's on free. But of course, if I take the rook, right? Then all of a sudden, she could play queen takes uh, d6, right? And all of a sudden, basically, I'm just up. What's that? There's an exchange. Mm -hmm. um, and there's an upper exchange, and the queen is she's surviving. Basically, the king is, is, is not long, no longer in, in much danger. Basically, so I don't want that. So I play this move, queen f7, um, check. And of course, if the king goes to d8. Then bishop g5 is just mating, 
mm-hmm. um, after the night block Smith. Mm-hmm. Um, and of course, if you play um, King takes d6, the idea is uh, Bishop f4. Because now she cannot play e5 because rook d5 is made as well. Um, and it's it's amazing so, that so before so queen f7 she dropped the piece the, it, the queen yeah so it's amazing um, rosa so, so that it's an equal position yeah. so it's amazing that the material is equal up until they played queen f7 it's amazing with all that has happened yeah, yeah, but the yeah, game yeah. is finished yeah so which, 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 which is the point material doesn't count it's, 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 it's the, the initiative and exactly it's, exactly yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So here, as you say, um, she's she's gonna she's gonna drop the queen or or, or get me, and she resign uh, in eighteen moves. So the the, the 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 thing about it as well is that um, as as you say, the Cambridge team was underrated. Um, we had all of their players were pretty much stronger than our players, and they, in one of the newspapers saying basically because I won my game was the first to complete that that basically Cambridge was highly expected to lose and. Um, they said a Jamaican international crushed his opponent and this inspired his, inspired his teammates. So, yeah, yeah. it was a good um, kind of finish. Yeah, this is so this Cambridge is won the, the match. Huh? And you, you won the match? Yeah, Cambridge won the match. That's brilliant. I, I really enjoyed this game. I really enjoyed this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so you know it's blitz time again, Rosa. So, Cesar? Yeah, 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 yeah. Cesar, your time up. So, Jump on, Cesar. Hold on a second. Do accept. Who's Cesar? Yeah, um, Cesar is who's supposed to come on now. But I'm not okay. seen, so hold on. Alright, so the board is there. Anytime, anytime you can. Yeah, Cesar is who you must accept now. Okay, don't say Cesar. Okay, Cesar, yeah, please, please. Yeah, man. Okay. So, three, two again, let's go. Blitz and coffee. Yeah. Let's go, Cesar. Okay, e for right. So, Steel Pulse, I know of the game. I think I was played in Puerto Rico. He is going to come back and talk about his whole career, but what he featured on Wednesday gone was his game against Antonio, as he was the first Jamaican to beat a 2,500 player. So it's in our archives. You can you can go back and check it out where Kevin Brown beat Antonio from last week Wednesday. But I'm aware of the game. I'm aware of. Actually, no, I'm aware of Kevin Dennis' game against Judith Polgar. So I need to check this one out. So Kevin Dennis' game is what I'm aware of against Judith Polgar. And then he had beaten him. Had beaten her. So I'll check this one out. New York Open 1986. So definitely we'll be asking him about that steel pulse. And remember tomorrow 7.30 we have PCI against Jamaica Bishops final round. And at 8 o'clock Jamaica Rooks will be played. So we're on from 7.30 tomorrow. In the final round of the Commander uh, Checkmate Team Tournament. PCI is currently second. Jamaica Rooks third. With a Costa Rican team in first. Yeah. 
Yeah, careful in a rose though. Careful. Yeah. You're managing your clock really well, youth. Still Pulse, I have a friend in Ghana. I don't hear the name mentioned often, but once people are available, I definitely will be interviewing them because I've reached out to a number of stalwarts through in Caribbean chess. So it would be good if you have contact for any other any that you have asked about please pass it on it would be good Rosa says are not going away easily mm. <laughs> that's why we play blitz and drink coffee my friend <laughs> Ooh. 
Sister, not what you wanted to see, my friend. Ooh. <laughs> Shane, check your inbox for me. Alright, so we're going to have one more game, then we're going to go into your next game. So, anybody to challenge, challenge Rosa now. Rosa, you're on a run, you know. After this, we're going to your game where you beat up the GM. So, yeah, one of one of three Jamaicans to beat a grandmaster, but you have done it twice. Who who we have here? Who challenge you? Uh Darren M. Alright, take on time him trying, so take it. Yeah. Under fourteen champion of Jamaica. Okay, well. Yeah, so take it serious and beat Christopher Wu from US last weekend. Yeah, well. Number four yeah, so take him serious. Yeah, so Shane, I'll say that we can do that. We'll do that on Wednesday. So you have some research to do, Shane. So. Sin boy. Nah, not unless we everybody has gotten to play. Then, yeah, we can go again. But we have to give us an honor to play Sir Rose, so we have to allow as many people as possible to get that honor. So we have the same structure in the Benoni Rosa. Alright, so champion coming alive finally in the crowd. So that's what it takes Riri to get a comment. So line up your next Riri. Yeah, that coming strong, Mario. This is why we're doing this. This is the future. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I should have warned you carefully. 
careful sucking on them juniors, them will take it and hold it. Yeah. Them don't no ram for hold it. Oh, the chess history, serious in the chat, 17 years ago. So, Mario, I see a question thrown to you. So, waiting for the answer, Mario. Rosa, why it look like him just take your piece and hold it so? Yeah, that's what this guy just did. Aha! <laughs> 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 oh god, that's what you do, you love chess. Let's see. Ooh! <laughs> Nice, 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 nice. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. Rihanna, yeah, you got tricked. That's what we do. <laughs> so, Rihanna, your turn. Jam, jam, tall, and then we're going to the GM game. So, that's who you challenge, Rihanna. Rosa. Careful how you yeah. suck on them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm stone, but I say I just wanted to play fun games. Yeah, I well, I had fun. I'm not sure about that, but I had fun. Okay. Re okay, re okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's see what right. yeah, I do that. Left hand man, big up. So we have the female under 16 champion of Jamaica woman candidate master Rihanna Brown playing a phenomenal talent yeah. she you have phenomenal talent Rosa. Yeah. So I tell you Jamaican chess looking good in a youth. Good so yeah, so, great. yeah, so it's on us to do what we need to do. So Mario, you still haven't told us who he is then. So I just coming back in. Thanks for the follow, really appreciated. Definitely appreciated. You are homeless on Wi-Fi. Wow. <laughs> She knows the line Peter T yeah, but Rosa wrote the book, so let's see. Don't shout it out, she's listening to you.
to I looked away for a second and I come back and see a fork on the board. Robert Suho, that's not a name I've heard for many years. Many, many years. Suho, I don't think Suho played since the, the night, maybe 90s, late 80s, 90s Steel Pulse. <laughs> That's funny. Steel Pulse, you have chess books older than them. I'm curious about your answer also because Buck Meyer was always the name I heard and the Ghanese brothers. So I'm curious about that. So Shane, did they ever have any competition, Caribbean competition at that time? And for you and Steel Post, if so, who won? Definitely Peter. That's the that's always the question. When you're not sure what to do in the position. Improve your worst piece, definitely.
Right, so Steel Pulse uh, keep on hearing about Bob Meyer. Oh, they did a Jomo. <laughs> All right, well done, well done, Rihanna. So let's go back over and walk us through. You play one of a couple of Jamaicans to have beaten a grandmaster. Walk us through the win because you did it twice. If my memory serves me correct, you have done it twice. No, that's one. The one. I drew it. I drew it on a grandmaster, but then it only beat one grandmaster. Ah, okay. So you drew with yeah. one, and you beat this one. So talk to me about this game. Who is he? Uh, talk to me about him. This game him. occurred um, in the uh, the uh, it was the Marsh the Marshall Chess Open in New York. Open. New York Marshall, Open, yeah. The Marshall um, Chess Club. So mm -hmm. it's quite. Quite an um, historic room, uh, and you know, um, Bobby yeah. Fischer played a lot of it's, games it's, in there. It's um, my favorite the chess place yeah, in the world, my virgin. My favorite chess place in yeah, the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> historic, historic um, venue. So when I was um, Rosa, when I was coming, when I took chess serious and said that I wanted yeah. the titles, I basically lived there. So they have some some yeah, yeah, yeah. um twenty five five tournaments weekly. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I used to go and play okay. the 25-5 tournaments religiously. I'd spend month, more than a month in New York. And then every yeah, week, yeah. I head there to play the 25-5s to get in form. So, oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah, love yeah, that yeah. place. It's nice. A lot of strong players. You have a lot of strong players. Yeah. Especially, as you said, the juniors. Uh, the juniors um, are very strong. Uh, sometimes even... Um, much um, they're underrated because the player junior um, is stronger. He's playing stronger than his rating. Um, so in, in, as I say, in the um, in the Manhattan Chess Open, New York Open, basically, uh, it's, it's, it was the first time playing it um, chess um, in that tournament. And I said, okay, uh, let me go and play the tournament. But um, after three rounds, what, what, what surprisingly, of course, it's a strong tournament with a lot of GMs. So after three rounds, I was actually leading the tournament because uh, before the GM game, I, I beat uh, uh, Fari Mandita, mm -hmm. Mr. Fari, and Fari and uh, that's a huge win. From I am with a couple of GM norms. Yeah, yeah man, that's a huge win. That's a huge yeah, win. Yeah, 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 yeah. So um, and of course I draw, I drew with Alex. I am in first round or something like that. So after after three rounds, I two and a half, I was actually leading the. The New York Open is against, uh, against um, over multiple GM. Wow. But anyway, this game was um, my first Grandmaster win. Um, and I, I, I was satisfied with my play. Um, so let, let, let's go through it. So I played E4. The Grandmaster played E5. I went Knight, knight C, C3. This, by the way, this was the first time I was playing the, um, the, the Vienna. Um, I, I just bought a, a chess book called the Modern Vienna, and I and I said, okay, let's let's try the Vienna. I, I actually didn't um, actually go through a lot of the variations before, or, or the, the book. I just barely skimmed through the book and said, okay, let's play um, Modern um, Vienna. But of course, that's not advisable. Um, if you should be well prepared in your opening before you you play. You used to play G three so, though. Here he used to play G three. Yeah. So here he used to play G three. Years yeah, gone by yeah, when you were young, you used to play G three here. G three, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. B C four, knight C three. The the idea in the Vienna is to try to get an early F five, and of course you're attacking on the king side. Um, so you play. I play B six, basically. Um, because the the idea is that my opponent could play knight. E4, knight E4, and then B5, right? Um, so I play uh, D3, both turns. Of course, he went for this variation, um, B4. The thing with this variation is that you cannot play um, the, the usual F4 and NF3 because um, then you'll get B5. B5 will come very early, and of course, black will get an okay position. So, Rosa, so just continue. I'll be back in a second.
Second, okay, yeah. So I played Night G, um, D2, um, defending the Knight on um, C3, and of course, um, making uh, D4, D5 not so good at this point. But anyway, it's, it's playable, but it's, it doesn't get the effect um, if I play Knight F3. Because if I play Knight F3, now the Knight will be under attack. But now it's not. So I can um, castle. So my opponent takes Knight, and of course, I take with a pawn. I don't want to ex exchange a lot of pieces and I want my knight to, for the king side attack, which I'm about to start. So anyway, um, the opponent retreated bishop, f4. So I'm grabbing space on the king side, um, um, basically opening up the, the rook file. And of course, the idea, not, not, not even to take on e5, the idea is to play f5 really, where I block out the bishop, the c8 bishop. And of course, I'm free to actually um, play on the king side. The castle, and of course, f5. That is the plan. Block out that bishop so I can play knight g3, knight e4, which will be a strong knight, queen g4, and some and such move. As you'll see, some of these moves are played in the game. So knight uh, a5 attacks the bishop. Of course, I don't want to uh, have triple pawns so after remove uh, move the bishop. So, c5. So my, my opponent is attacking uh, c4. So the opponent, he really wants to um, give me triple pawn. Well, triple the pawn on the c5. So even if he, he sacks the pawn, I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't want triple pawn. Even if I'm a pawn up, um, that would be weak. So I played c4. So that move looks like a, a, a very weak move, right? Because he's blocking out the bishop. But you should realize that it's, um, it's only temporary. At some point in time, the bishop will have to move. Either, either black plays knight takes bishop, in which case I'll play a times, um, a, a pawn times d3, and I'll get a open rook file. Or, or, or if the rook knight moves, uh, I can always um, play bishop a4, and uh, at some point in time, the bishop will come, come into play. So I, I'm not worried about the bishop being out of place. The idea is that I, I just don't want my opponent to. Uh, play c4, which which would be quite annoying because it um, may lead to triple triple pawns. So the opponent decides to play uh, the block th2 bishop. Of course, um, I wanted to play knight b3, but of course the, the immediate knight g3, but of course the immediate knight g3 falls to the um, the fork queen uh, e4 check. And then queen picks up the the rook on a1. So first, I develop the bishop with a tempo. So I get a tempo to develop the bishop, and at the same time I'm covering d4 square. Opponent plays, and I, and then move the knight. And say the e4 square is the ideal square for my knight, right? So bd7, I go to queen g4. Of course, I don't want to put the knight here immediately. Because um, if I put knight on e4 immediately, he could take, and of course, I would have forced the pawn takes, and then of course, my position would become weak because uh, of course, then I'll have double um, unprotected pawns here. Um, so, after bringing the, the queen before I, I play um, knight e4, rook f7. Um, so, at this point in time, I was thinking, okay, that. that I, I really like this bishop, um, even though, as I say, right now it's not doing much, right? So I was thinking that, for example, if I take the bishop around, for example, if I play the bishop here, and the queen move up somewhere, I, um, I'm not controlling this square, I could play push here, and, and, and then bring it back to e6. So at this point, I say, okay, let's move the bishop, bishop here. First but of course, this is a waiting move, you see, and it, it takes away squares from his pieces, for example. Um, so the GM plays a6. Um, but of course, no knight e4. That's my whole idea. Bringing the knight um, where I can rook lift and bring the rook to the king side, attacking, attacking the king, right? Um, he plays knight c6, right? Of course, as I, as I mentioned, I want to bring the rook over and the king side to attack. So I play knight f3. Um, knight d4, right, and rook h3. So 
So I, I've achieved some stuff. I've, I've, I've brought in some, some people, um, basically building up the attack. Right? And of course, the attack hasn't really started, but of course, um, you have to bring in the, the, the infantry, as they said. So, B5, uh, my opponent plays B5, but of course, uh, taking his back to the team, so I play Bishop. Bishop um, B3. And of course, I'm attacking pawn takes now because the bishop can come through. So he, he push back, push back. Uh, doesn't want to take the bishop because the knight is that. His knight and, and d4 is well placed as well. Uh, so he doesn't want to take it for a bishop that does not have any scope right now. Queen h4. And the idea of this move, of course, uh, I realized that, of course, h6 will. will, will my opponent could play a6 and, and, and uh, all of a sudden there's no um, defending. But of course, a6 creates other weaknesses in, in, the, in the opponent's um, power structure. So it's about creating weakness, right? So uh, attack is knowing that a6, it could easily, easily parry the attack with a6. But of course, that a6 now creates weakness in the position. And maybe that, that weakness was what, what won the game, right? The, the fact that the um, power structure is weak. So a6, right? Now, um, there is a thing that when you when you when you, when you attacking on the um, on the wing, right, the center has to be secured, right. So at this point, if he, if he is able to play, if my opponent is able to take, take the knight and c4, then he can he could open up the center in the sense that basically um, his his pieces could infiltrate. For example, he could play bishop d4, take knight d. Queen, queen D2, for example. So it's infiltrated. So at this point, I play rook E1. So if he goes rook takes knight, then I'll um, respond with rook takes knight. If he, if, he, if he plays bishop takes knight on E4, I'll respond rook takes knight, basically. Keeping the center solid, and of course, going on with the attack. Right? So my opponent plays bishop G6, right? Um, and of course, I take advantage of some of the weakness I play. Um, queen g6. So now I'm attacking rook takes a6. I'm the winner pawn, and of course, after winning that pawn, I have to basically infiltrate with queen and queen, with queen a7, for example, and then mating on um, queen h8. So at this point, my, my opponent started to feel some pressure. The GM started to feel some, he decided that, okay, it's time to kind of bring the king, king, um, for a for possible the king run it run it everything. Right? And um, at this point you can say I, I, I know that okay my portion is okay, my piece is my knight and e4 is well placed, my rook is ideally placed on the attack. Um then the next thing is to get in more peace. What is that? What is my worst place piece maybe? Maybe it's the bishop on uh well, the bishop on b3, but of course the bishop on b2 is not good and I can quickly bring the bishop on b2 into the game. So I play bishop c1. So now I'm, I'm basically going, I'm coming to the attack. I'm, I'm, going, I'm planning to play bishop takes uh, a6 next move. Um, I'm basically go, go at the king. Bishop takes a6, pawn takes, and then rook takes. And of course, I'm, I'm at, attacking mate. Um, that will be unstoppable mate, actually. Um, or, yeah, it's a, it's a king there. Um, it doesn't be mate. Next, try to the bishop d6 and, and run with him. So anyway, my opponent, the GM, he decides to play queen d7. So when I saw it, when he, when he plays, play, when GM played this queen d7, I was wondering, whoa. Um, because I, I, I think that basically he has to do something about um, bishop a6. So when he played queen e7, I can't think that's again. Bishop a6 is working. So I said, well, why the GM didn't see that it's working, right? Of course, I guess the reason is he, he, he missed a move, which is possibly a GM shot. So, let, 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 let's see what happened. I took an a6, take back, rook an h6. And I'm, of course, I'm, I'm, I'm threatening rook takes, rook h8, me. So, of course, the GM went, bishop, um, bishop to, uh, D8, right? Of course, bishop D6 is not good because, um, of course, I could take here with the knight and so forth. Um, yeah, or king here. So that, that, 
that was a good place for the Bishop D6. Um, so here now, um, this was the shot that the, the uh, GM missed. Um, knight G5. And the idea is that um, I'm attacking this rook, right? I plan to play queen rook, rook here. And then when the king rook check, rook, rook H8 check, king E7, and then queen, queen takes here. But the, the idea is that Paul, you cannot take the knight on G5, Paul takes because rook check, king E7, and then rook E, um, rook E5 check. And it's basically, he has to give up his queen because after knight block, rook takes check, then he has to give up his queen. And, uh, well, he still be mate. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, yeah, that, that was the idea basically. The pawn takes rook takes e5. The pawn takes knight, rook takes e5 basically. And, and pretty much, the game is, 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 is um, almost finished from here because, uh, like I say, he's losing the exchange. Um, so, he did this, which is the last resort, basically, giving up the exchange. And um, at this point, I'd say, check um, the skin here, um, queen here, and queen takes. And it is at this point the GM resigned. Because um, I guess, I guess they could be chasing it, but their engine is saying that I'm, I'm plus six up. Um, but the idea is that it's difficult for me to not win this version. If he played on, I'm sure. I sure can with this. Yeah, I'm a fast H1. C5 gone to oh. don't worry. That's yeah. ABC for you. But I love yeah, that yeah. knight G5. I love knight G5 doing. Yeah, yeah. So that was the shot that the GSP yeah. is telling knight G5. I, mean, I love that so, move. Yeah, so when, when, when he played knight, um, so when he played queen D7, I can't play a couple of times. I said, wait, um, it's working. Uh, of course, I saw that means knight G5. Um, but at the end, I said it was, a, it was a good feeling. My my first GM um, yeah. beat, and of course this is this is 2018. So of course uh, uh, this kind of gave me some optimism that yeah, uh, I did, um, it took me that long to beat the GM, but I said wait, uh, I can do this. Um, and of course in the future, I look forward to to, to beating GMs. Um, so again, you um, know me, you know. So you know I'm holding you. You know me, so I'm holding you to a couple of things. I am, yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. this time no, next no, year, no, no. the FM, the, the, the following year, the I am, and that's all. I will yeah. be checking up and holding you to account, my friend, because you know my yeah, views yeah, yeah. on you. you that, those titles have yeah, to be yeah. in front of your name. I love this game. I yeah, love yeah. Night G5. Definitely love Night G5. Night G5, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, see Peter T but saying that he loved, he liked Rookie 1. <laughs> So he liked a rookie yeah, one. Yeah, rookie one, you have, you, have to keep, you have to keep the center kind of solid. Yeah. Or, or kind of close. Because if you allow bishop takes knight, then you have to take respond with pawn takes and basically you open the, the, the um, file. Yeah, man. And um, the screen could penetrate, for example, and of course the portion wouldn't be, um, could be unclear. After that. Definitely. So, yeah. wow, congrats, my friend. Congrats. No, do yeah, we? Well, thanks, thanks, thanks. Yeah, we have three, so let's just move over. Take 30 seconds. Let's set up for the game of the week. We have three nominees, so you'll walk us through those, do we? Yeah. So, Valens first, okay. Darren second, and Jaden third. Yeah. So, in a, okay. so, just so as we set up, not yet, let's set up. And yeah. game of the week nominations for three, three this week. Okay. I'll three two. So, game of the week this week will have three nominees. We have Valence in the first game, Darren in the second game, and the third game, Jaden. And how do we do it? We play through the game, so the win will lead us through the three games, and then we'll open it to the spectators, to you guys, for you to choose. Majority wins in those. So, who is the first game to win? Valence is the first game. What color is Valence? Uh, Valence is... Uh, what color? I'm not seeing. Okay, he's white. He's white against candidate, woman candidate master Paulina, Katrina Paulina. Paulina from Bahamas. So this was played in the match Jamaica against Bahamas over the weekend. Okay. Alright, so let's lead off. 
four um, from Valence, and f six, c four, g six. So it seems like she's going for a king's Indian. Mm -hmm. Um, goes f three, um, which kind of a sameish kind of maybe a sameish kind of structure. Bishop g five, e four, d six, knight c three. So it's definitely a king's Indian. Yeah, and the sameish um, comes up. Same, yeah. same is variation. Which is what Valence has been playing for years. So he's a specialist in this. Okay. So castle, bishop e3, e5, e5. Of course, that's the idea uh, when he's in there. Uh, you keep the center closed. Knight bd7, queen d2. Uh, this is fairly standard stuff, basically. The idea is that someone get good bishop h6 and um, go for the attack on the two sides. It's an idea of the same issue from a wide, wide point of view. Yep. A5. And I remember um, in this position, um, Rosa, I remember commentating and saying that while A5 is normal in the King's Indian to hold the C5 square for the, the knight, it's too slow yeah. in this position. And typical is knight H5 and F5. Just quickly, yeah, quickly, yeah, yeah, quickly. Yeah. And if knight H5, G4, you sat the, the pawn with knight F4, and take yeah. takes an f5 but you have to blow that center open because oh. if not yeah. the the wing going to kill you because basically as you yeah, said yeah, you yeah. have to have control of the center to attack on the wing so white has control of the center so the attack is mm -hmm. definitely mm -hmm. going to going to come so you have to hit that wing before he he does so i'd like knight h5 yeah. here and f5 not a5 yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Knight e e two, um, knight c five, g four. And here White it comes. getting on the attack. Yeah. Um, bishop g seven, d seven, knight g three. So white idea, of course, is that h four, h five. Um, it's coming. Queen e seven, h four. Yeah. Rook a b one, rook a b eight, h five. C6. Right, uh, so why is black is trying to kind of say so they can um, blast open the center, possibly. Mm -hmm. but, but, and that was my one but, criticism there. Go back right here, go back to the move. I would not have, have opened up the seven, mainly because one of the main ideas of the Kings Indian to defend this is that lateral protection of h7 by the queen on e7. So you try to yeah. mask it as long and I was really interested in bishop eight six and knight f five in in this yeah, position. Yeah. I was really really interested yeah. when I was watching the game if you'd have played bishop eight six and then knight f five and send send everything in. So so I definitely have kept the tension. That was my only criticism for this entire game. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. I'm going, uh, yeah, you're going to see in the next move, he blasts yeah. open the king side. So, yeah, so okay. you soon see yeah. it. You soon, yeah. So, b5, pawn take, c6, yes, pawn take, pawn take. King b1, uh, maybe a prophylactic move. Oh, uh, <laughs> overly safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Overly yeah. Safe. Uh, maybe she plans to move the knight at d5. Uh, well, Violet plans to move yeah. the knight at d5 at some point. Um, which is bringing in more pieces. So it takes the king all to the way. Uh, e4 with f. With the f1. So that's the idea. Um, he locks on g5, but okay, he went blow yeah, yeah. open. Yeah, with f4, yeah. We'll, we'll get, yeah. yeah, both going to come eventually. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, so after... Hold on a um, sec, stop a second, Rosa. At what yeah. point, at what point 
what about H5 instead of any... F oh, that's early in the opening. All right, Laban, you can link me. We can discuss the opening. I have a number of games in, in that variation that we can discuss. I personally prefer Knight H5 in that variation. Um, yeah. Bishop C4 or ND5 had to be playable. He went for his way of, his interpretation of the position, which was good. All right, Rosa. Yeah. At this point, I think um, Bishop B5 is actually better. So, if white plays Bishop B5 uh, and black respond Knight D5, then it's almost made in, in a short time by Knight, knight okay, uh, Queen E4. So, knight, by Knight, knight D5, mm -hmm. attacking the Queen, then Knight F6, and even if the king goes to H8, he mm has -hmm. yeah, the, Ara the, the Arabia mate mm -hmm. by Queen takes H7. Yeah, he found a nice way. At Peter, um, it's outdated. Outdated don't mean bad. It's still one of the, the main lines, and I've scored heavily with it. So outdated or out of trend should mean go study because it means you'll get a competitive advantage on your opponent. You should like variations that are outdated and out of out of out of fashion. Because you can get the competitive advantage. Rather than jumping into fashion and debating what the Grandmaster played last week with an opponent that's 500 rating points lower than you. It's better to do it this way. Yeah, man. Okay, so after, after <coughs> Black played Bishop B5, uh, uh, I'll say I think that um, Bishop takes B5 is quicker for, for Black. If Bishop B5, Knight B5, mm -hmm. then Knight D5. So Bishop B5, if White plays Bishop B5 and Knight um, responded, Knight D5, mm -hmm. then Black could go, White could go Knight D5 attacking the Queen. And then to and F6. When the queen moves, F6. Mm -hmm. And of course, if the King goes to H8, is the Arabian mate. What and he, yeah. If the king, and if the King goes to the F5, yeah, well, four discovered as well. Yeah, his move though wins on the spot too, in a row, so. so if you look through, yeah. his move wins on the spot. Too, okay, now. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This should be four six. King here. Okay, and, yeah, 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 and it just wins on the spot. Yeah. Rook yeah, F7. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, clinical. Um, yeah, yeah. And that's, that's it. So this is um, nomination number one, Valence. All right, so move to nomination number two for me, Rosa. Yeah. So who is nomination number two? Darren. And for him, this was just domination. So he, he nominated this game because for him, it was just total domination rather than, rather than a blowing out tactical melee. So let's see it. Yeah, C4, Darren is playing black. Yeah. So yeah, the English attack on the board. Um, D4, D4, uh, too early, no, it's okay. Um, I'm taking space. Taking space, yeah. yeah. Uh, castle, bishop E6, um, knight G5, yeah. Bishop D5, knight D4, knight is, knight is, one, six. uh, F5. Okay, so, uh, well, black, white could play uh, NFC, no, um, to get the bishop on uh, D7, on D5, um, if he wanted, but I guess this, uh, white did not want to take the bishop. You need to take those bishop pairs though, Rosa, you know you're out of small advantage. So, yeah. You, you, yeah, I say you know against strong players you're out of small advantages, so you take that bishop yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Takes and basically, yeah. basically black better because of the double D pawn and your ability to attack it. It's okay yeah. if, if black didn't have the ability to attack it, it would be okay, but you have the ability to attack it. Yes, so um, and that knife is looking um, as well because uh, if black is allowed to play a then the knife would be trapped, right? So, of course. 
the night uh, goal player, but the night is it. Um, night, night uh, A5. So it's attacking the pawn. Okay, yeah? The pawn, yeah, the pawn, the pawn. Group B5, yes, um, keeping the position under control. Okay, so essentially she's um, Darren is taking away all of his spaces and um, spirit from his opponent. And of course, the, the pawn is dropped. So already, um, two, four, six. Uh, black is two pawns up. Pretty much a one is here. Um, takes the seventh round. Um, Uh, just so, power chess, um, yeah. Yeah. Just power chess. Why it why chess, don't yeah, stand yeah, no yeah. chance, yeah. So essentially the the, the, the piece is tied down, even like it doesn't do anything. Clinical. Yeah. It's very clinical. Clean, clean, clean chess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's very clinical. Yeah, clean, clean, clean chess. yeah. this is um of course it's over. Yeah. Yeah, just clean. Yeah, power chest. So that's that's number two nomination. Number two, um, Darren showing clean power chest. Number three is Jaden. So walk us through that yeah. one. What color is Jaden? So Jaden is white. All right, so guys, remember after this game, you start casting your votes as to whether it's Valence, Jaden, or Darren for your game of the week. Dragon just taken out that way, boy. Alright, guys, yeah, so yeah, yeah. we have a minute, so start voting starting now. So, one minute to vote is it Valens, is it Darren, is it Jaden? So, Valens, that's one vote for Valens. Where's what's your vote, Rosa? Ah, uh, um, I guess, uh, 
Alright. So Mario, you cast your boat. <laughs> so Darren tried to vote for himself. No, you can't vote for yourself. Alright, the one casting Valens. All right, so Valens leading, 30 more seconds. All right, so another one, there comes Jaden. All right, Joshua goes for Darren. Rihanna, all right, so real Pavel, Darren, Rihanna for Valens. All right, 15 more seconds, guys. All right, so we have a winner. So Valence winning with his same-ish game. Congratulations to Valence. Well done. Very well done. So Rosa, you know you can't That's leave. Right, yeah, man. And there are a couple questions we have for you before you leave because we need to impart some real wisdom on our young players. So last week my son came up with a question for Warren. So he calls him Uncle yeah. Warren because he grew up with Uncle Warren and he wanted to know. Yeah. But it's such a fitting question for you too. What is the biggest obstacle you have had to overcome in your life in order to carry on to accomplish and how did you overcome it? Uh, so, yeah, biggest accomplish uh, of oh. uh, I would say the, I've had two major obstacles in my, in, in my life, um, really, uh, looking back. I think first was, uh, of course, the, the, the death of my uh, father. Yeah. Um, of that. course, that's always a, a, a major obstacle in everybody's life. Um, it's a, it's a, a part of life. People will die, and of course. Yeah, but um, your daddy was your biggest want. fan, too. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, of course, um, basically, uh, how do you kind of cope when your loved one passed away? Um, of course, you're. You start by being very sad, but of course, after you go on, you have, you have to realize it's part of life and um, basically trying to honor his memory and, and um, it's the, 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 the after times is, is part of the kind of coping and, and dealing, dealing with it after a while sometimes. Um, you, you remember, even when very long time ago, you'll always remember the past of uh, the loved one. So, yeah. Uh, the second obstacle, as I say, um, in my life was, of course, uh, uh, my, my divorce, of course. Nobody get married uh, with the intention of getting divorced. But as I say, it's part of life. It happens sometimes, and of course, we just have to move on. And the, the thing with it is that um, we, are, we are kids and realizing that, okay, the kids should be the important factor is not trying to, uh, uh, um, trying to get back at uh, uh, your exes or so forth. You realize that, okay, uh, you need to try to have a kind of an amicable relationship um, for the kids' sake, basically. Uh, so you have to put the kids as a priority um, in the situation. So important. So that's part of me dealing with that, that obstacle, basically. Uh, I try to... Uh, so the obstacle is that uh, my kids, they live in a different country than, than, than I do. Basically. And of course, um, thanks for the technology, we are able to um, keep in touch and Skype them as often as, as possible, basically. Even even the, 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 the time difference. So sometimes I, I'm up like 3 a.m. in the morning to Skype with the kids because of the time difference. That's like uh, 6 o'clock in Florida or so forth um, to Skype with them. But of course, uh, I'm their father. I need to ensure that I play my role. That you do your part. Yes, so Trust part. me, my brethren. That's yeah. so important. So important. Yeah. yeah. All right. So. Yeah. Before I go to the last question, you are a globe trotter. I remember you used to keep track. Of how many countries you have been to? What's the total at now? I think it's either 41 or 42. 
42. Um, so yeah. you know you have to do number 50 yeah. big. You have to tell us before you yeah, go yeah, number yeah, 50. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you have to uh, do it big, yeah, big yeah. and let us yeah. enjoy it with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright. But um, yeah, mm -hmm. traveling now to the chest is such a good thing as well because um, chess has provided the opportunity to travel. For example, I've, I've played for Jamaica and a number of Olympiads. And of course, they're normally in, in countries, some countries that you probably wouldn't go. Um, under under normal circumstances, so that is kind of motivation for the kids as well to to do well in check to represent Jamaica or their country. Yeah. So you can travel. Yeah, that's so important. That's, uh, that's, that's so important. Yeah. Now, Rosa, you have an audience made up of the talented, not just Jamaica, but talented young minds in the Caribbean, and apart from those who are watching your live, they're going to come and they're going to watch your video. What's your yeah. advice to this young crop of players now as to how to go forward and what's the most important things you think that need to be done? So your wisdom and advice bestowed on to them, what would you say? Okay, uh, so the first thing, uh, there is this uh, kind of mass question where it is A's 1, um, B's 2, C's 3, etc. Um, if you add up the number uh, uh, corresponding to the letter, for example, talent, you don't get 100%, uh, right? But I think when you add up hard work, you, 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 you get 100%, if I remember it correctly. So essentially, there, there is no beating it. To become strong in chess, you have to put in the work, basically. Um, you have to commit to put in the work. Um, the, strong, the strong players um, in, the, in this world, Magnus, Carson, or even Bobby Fischer when he was around, they, they, they put in a lot of work in chess, basically. Um, so you have to develop a, a, a good training program. You need to get a good coach, coach like uh, I am Peterson. Thank right? you, um, you, need <laughs> you need to get a good coach. And of course, you need to... Um, as some chess players say, you need to play a lot as well. That's part of it. Um, one time I was in in in, uh, in, in Gibraltar and I saw I, I saw a Nigel short. I was around. I was, I, was I, I think I lost the game and I was I said I'm tired of losing. And I said I, I said to Nigel, how do, how do I become strong? How do I become a GM? Right? And he was saying he, he answered the question by asking me a question. He said how many games do you play uh, a year to win? Um, and I said. Uh, Maybe um, on a good year I'll play maybe uh, three tournaments. Um, that's like three times nine, 27 games, yeah? Um, and he was saying that at age 10 he was playing like 200 games a year. 200 tournament games a year. Right? <laughs> not, not 50, not 70, 200, 200 games a year. Um, so you have to complement training with playing, right? Mm -hmm. And um, Joe mentioned one other thing is that you need strong opposition as well. Um, yep. I say sometimes um, if you play in the same set of play, play people, um, you're not you're not getting an opportunity to grow, right? So if you grow outside of that, you need to play um, strong opposition. Sometimes it's traveling basically. There's no get around it. You play strong opposition. Maybe maybe you need to travel, right? These days a lot of internet. Maybe some players will play classical game online. Maybe you can do that, but. You should, you should um, play as much stronger opponent as possible. And of course, you have to be uh, strategic as well. As, 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 as Gary Kasparov says, chess, chess, chess is life. Um, and of course, chess uh, imitates life. So you should try to uh, bring your advantages as it relates to chess. For example, if you're, if you're good at remembering stuff, for example, you, you probably want to be play very aggressive um, variation, right? That, that would be to your advantage, right? So you have, you have to play to your strength. Um, and sometimes it means being strategic. Yeah. Weighing up what is your advantages, right? Or you, 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 you must have heard about this, what analysis. Mm -hmm. So assessing your strength, weakness, opportunities and strength. So if my strength is being able to remember a lot of lines, uh, then the opportunity is that I could play uh, very aggressive lines where my opponent wouldn't 
being able to remember the, 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 the theory as well as I need to remember it. So um, you have to be strategic about it and say, oh, you're go, going about improving. But at the end of the day, not in this hard work. You have to commit to putting the work. And of course, you need good guidance along the way. Um, so you try to get a good coach, like my friend, I am Peterson. I do, and yeah. I've been humbled tonight. <laughs> I've been humbled and I have enjoyed Monday night with PCI watching you play Blitz while I drink some coffee. This has no, been a yeah. wonderful experience and I'm going to invite you back to commentate some games with us because your analysis was so lucid. It was so to the point, not just, um, it wasn't just tactical, just how you pull that the strategic elements and intertwine, intertwine them in order to do what Rosa does. It has been my pleasure, Rosa. And thank you, man. Yeah, my pleasure. Yeah, my pleasure. I really, really thank you for doing this interview and more importantly for allowing the youngsters of Jamaica to get into the mind of the way in row to see exactly what made you tick, what motivated you, how did you beat the GM, how did you become almost a legend in varsity chess, how did you do it? And I said, Mario, even before we finish, in saying good stuff. And that's really what we have to say, Rosa, good stuff. And you did something important tonight. You set some timelines and you told me you're going for the title. So as a virgin, you know that I'm going to, I'm going to monitor you and I'm going to hold you to it. Because yeah, yeah, the sky is the limit for my brethren, Rosa. Yeah. I thank you. Yeah, man, respect, man. I thank you. And from the young players, I see, I see comments coming in good stuff really good stuff i saw before a number of thank yous so you know it's appreciated and this is what we have to do to pass the knowledge on to this generation because i need to be cheering very soon for a homegrown caribbean grandmaster and i lie i'll be smiling if it's jamaican but i'll be dancing if it's beige and i'll be dancing if it's trini or a small island hashtag legend just yeah, yeah, post up definitely. rosa so there you go you're a legend i don't need to say it the audience is saying it for me so i appreciate it i know the time it was difficult we started this at 4 a.m your time so i know yeah. that it was important for you to pass this knowledge on rosalie my great yeah. interview so i as i see it i say it to you my brethren we appreciate yeah, this. Man, it, man. Yeah, man. The Caribbean appreciates yeah. this. Jamaica appreciates this. And to the audience, we intend to do this every every Monday. So Mondays we'll be doing this as we we capture the Caribbean history, the greatest players that ever played the game. On Wednesdays we go down memory lane, looking on the we look on the best games played by Caribbean players. And Shane has a task now because you threw it out to him that you won Thomas Figueroa on Wednesday. So Shane has gone into archives and let's see if we can present Thomas Figueroa on Wednesday. Mama task but an enjoyable task. We have, the, we have Daim Shabazz next week and I invite everybody to come and learn black history because Shabazz is the person who started chess drum and any chess player a black descent knows about chess drum we all aimed to get onto chess drum to get to get reported by him because we knew that this was where we wanted to be so next week we have daim shabazz a professor daim shabazz who will be talking about his whole his entire chess journey which will be capturing a number of grandmaster a number of international masters freedom masters the whole history of black chess and we'll be focusing on that next week, Monday. Tomorrow, we have two games. We have PCI against Jamaica Bishops. So what it is, is an all-Jamaica affair, but it's last round and we're playing for first place. So we just have to go hard at 7 o'clock. And we have at, no, at 7.30 and at 8 o'clock, we have Jamaica Rooks playing in their last game. So from myself, International Master, Joma Peterson, Completely humbled to be interviewing candidate master Dwayne Rowe, the world, the globe trotter, the academic, 
<laughs> the author that, and for me quite special the chess one, player the pleasure, the pleasure it has been you. humble thank you from all of us yeah. Dwayne and guys I'll see you tomorrow yeah. in the match thank you good night <laughs>